Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Simulating the Apocalypse Era, I Create a New Body Refining System. Chapter 21 The moment Qi Dao appeared, his whole body was filled with flawless light, and his every move carried an inexplicable charm of Taoism. But at the same time, something descended from the depths of the sky again. Feeling Qi Dao's resurgent aura, he killed it. This is a great disaster. Brother, be careful. Yu Qing was pleasantly surprised and immediately noticed something unusual in the sky. That terrifying light was so fast that it transcended the limitations of time and space and reached Qi Dao almost instantly. No need for Yu Qing to remind him, Qi Dao has already sensed this power. The great Dao couldn't cut me off with his guillotine, but he wants to kill me with a ray of light. Old Dao, who do you look down on? Qi Dao raised his head and looked directly at the sky, and he actually called it, the old way. As soon as he finished speaking, Qi Dao stretched out his hands, and every inch of flesh and blood produced great Dao lines. This was the great Dao born by himself, the only one in his body. Boom, Qi Dao bombarded it with the new system of Taoism, without any bells and whistles, and directly wiped out the great Dao. At this time, thunder rolled from the sky, and the vision shocked everyone. Oh my god, what happened over there at Qingshu Mountain? Why are there thunderclouds rolling in these days? Is this a punishment from heaven? It's very possible. Come over and take a look, maybe you can get some benefits. Whether it was born by chance or Qingshu Mountain was robbed, how can this kind of vision be ordinary? Quote dot 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 quote. For a time, there was a sensation in the middle region where Qingshu sect was located. The natural phenomenon attracted many cultivators to find out. But on Qingshu Mountain, Qi Dao was happy and not afraid. He even survived the Great Dao Tribulation and the Great Dao Guillotine, and he was no longer afraid of the bombardment of the old ways. This is the confidence that his new system, Great Dao, has just established, and it can already compete with the old Dao. However, there were only visions erupting in the sky, but there was never any substantial blow, as if they were hesitating. At this time, the headmaster, Yu Xuanzi and others had already arrived. The moment they saw Qi Dao safe and sound, the headmaster and the elders all had red eyes. Disciple, is it really you? Yu Xuanzi's voice was trembling as he asked Qi Dao for confirmation. Previously, all that was left of Qi Dao was a blackened skeleton with no life at all, and he buried it here with his own hands. Unexpectedly, a vision would happen today, Qi Dao is not dead. I've made you worry about master, the headmaster, and the elders. Please also ask the headmaster and elders to stay away from here. I'm afraid that something from the old way will come down and target me, and it will affect you. Qi Dao Chao Yu Xuanzi and the headmaster saluted them. After they retreated, Qi Dao sent Yu Qing to a safe location. Brother, you scared me to death. Yu Qing's eyes were swollen from crying, which showed how worried she was. She was holding on to his arm tightly and refused to let go. I'm fine, I've survived this time, nothing can kill me. Qi Dao smiled brightly. Now that he has become a Taoist, his actions are the original true meaning of the great Tao, and the combat power he exerts is almost comparable to the level of an outer sect elder at the peak of the Tao realm. Of course, his cultivation only stayed at the realm of casting, and he had not yet had time to open up the life palace in reality. At this time, Qi Dao stood on the top of Qingshu Mountain, quietly waiting for the old road to target. But after waiting and waiting, Qi Dao found that the vision in the sky had become much lighter and was disappearing. Aren't you targeting me? Do you know it's difficult to kill me? Qi Dao waited and finally became convinced that it was indeed the case. Headmaster, Master, Disciple has succeeded. As a Taoist, he has a true foundation of Taoism. Moreover, this disciple has opened up two realms in a row this time, and has gained huge rewards. Qi Dao quickly came to the headmaster and the five supreme elders and said. When they learned about this, they were extremely shocked. It was impossible not to be surprised. They did not expect that Qi Dao could open up two realms in a row. Really, the headmaster's voice trembled slightly, and he was so excited that tears filled his eyes. They are all waiting for Qi Dao's new system to be successful. Now that it has taken a further step, they are naturally happy. Right, in total, my disciple has now opened up four major realms, namely the blood refining realm, the soul nurturing realm, the casting realm, and the life palace realm. 
If we want to compare it with the old system, the realm of Ming Palace is equivalent to the realm of opening up the path in the old way. Qi Dao explains further, because he is the founder, he has reached the limit of every realm, and his ability in the realm of casting is already comparable to the pinnacle of the old realm and the realm of opening up the path, and it is only a hair away from the realm of quasi Tian. But if others practice and cannot reach the limit of each realm, even if they reach the realm of life palace, they can only compare with the realm of opening up the path. However, in comparison, this is already more powerful than the old system. Okay, okay, we old guys did not misjudge the person, and our efforts were not in vain. It's just that I still want to know when the new system can be used for practice. During the month you spent in seclusion, the realm of us old guys has dropped a lot, and the disciples don't have much cultivation left. In today's Dharma ending era, there is a risk of being destroyed by others every day. The headmaster said again, very concerned about this issue. Even their realm is getting lower and lower day by day, and they can still last for a year at most. If the suppression of heaven and earth were more severe during this period, it would not even last a year. Qi Dao has already tried this problem during simulation, and found that the four realms listed now are still not enough to support practice. I'm afraid we still need to wait for some time. When the disciple can bear the cause and effect alone, it will be fine. Otherwise, if you are practicing now, it will be very difficult to pass the level of the casting Tao realm, and you will be targeted by the great Tao. Qi Dao informed the headmaster. Even when he opened up the realm of casting in reality, he narrowly escaped death, let alone others. However, I can first pass on the physical way to the headmaster and the elders. It may be helpful and slow down the decline of the realm. Qi Dao as soon as these words came out, both the headmaster and Yu Xuanzi and others were shocked and excited. In this Dharma ending era, nothing can be more useful than delaying the decline of one's realm. But now Qi Dao is so confident. Disciple, don't say this nonsense. Are you really sure? Qi Dao, do you really have a way? The five supreme elders all gathered around Qi Dao, all of them looking like hungry wolves. Qi Dao didn't know whether to laugh or cry, then nodded. This is a hint of inspiration that I noticed when I was creating the physical Tao Foundation. As long as the headmaster and all the headmasters can touch the Tao Foundation of the new system a little bit, they can withstand the oppression of heaven and earth. Of course, this only slows down the decline in realm. Good boy, my teacher is not wrong about you, as long as it can slow down the decline, it is enough, ha 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 ha. On Qingshu Mountain, the headmaster and the supreme elders were impatient. Surrounded by many elders and headmasters, Qi Dao was cheered and taken to the ancient palace. Along the way, the disciples were stunned. What was going on? Senior brother Saint Child was surrounded by the headmaster and elders. However, on the way to the ancient palace, headmaster Ching Shu suddenly changed his expression to a solemn one. The next moment, he turned back and slapped his palm towards the sky outside the mountain. Boom! The law of this palm surged, and the void was directly smashed to pieces. Then, a man covered in blood was shot down. Ah! Headmaster Ching Shu, have mercy on me, Master Ching Shu, have mercy on me. I, I just happened to pass by here, and I had absolutely no other thoughts. He was in so much pain that he was immediately crippled. This surprised Qi Dao. At first, he didn't realize that someone was spying on the important land of Ching Shu Mountain in the void. This shows how unscrupulous some people are now. Therefore, this time the headmaster was rude, killing the chicken to scare the monkeys, and erasing this person's recent memory. Go back and tell your master that although I am old, I can still maintain my peak level. If you're not afraid of death, just come over. The headmaster said coldly, making the man tremble with fear and went down the mountain without looking back. Then, the headmaster raised his head and swept his spiritual thoughts into the air, covering the entire Qingshu mountain. At that moment, several people were secretly captured, destroyed together, and driven down the mountain. Next, no one will be snooping in the dark in Qingshu mountain, and there is no need to worry about secrets being leaked. Headmaster, who are those people? Qi Dao said in surprise. He remembered that no one had dared to be so unscrupulous before, hiding directly in the void to spy on the Qingshu sect. Who else could it be? Bodian sect, Wansheng sect, they have been plotting for a long time. 
They are waiting for us old guys to decline in their realm so that they can come and kill us and extract the source. Not long after you went into seclusion, there were more and more of these scoundrels. I didn't expect them to be so arrogant now. Headmaster Qingxu shook his head and said. The Qingxu sect is famous for its purity of heart and desire in the central region. This can be seen from the fact that it has directly sealed off the mountain since the age of Dharma end, and does not leave the world to fight with others. It is precisely because of this that it has become the sweet steamed bun in the eyes of many people, and they are all waiting for it. So that's it. The last temptation was not enough, and now it is so wanton. I want to open up a new realm as soon as possible and reach a point where I can rival the leader of a religion. Qi Dao clenched his fists after understanding. The so-called masters of a religion have all reached the Lord level in strength, and even stronger ones have reached the holy life realm and can control the life and death of a region. But now he has only opened up the fourth realm, and he has only cultivated to the end of the three major realms. There is still a long way to go. Well, we really need to hurry up. Don't worry, we will try our best to buy you time. No matter how many enemies come, as long as you are not afraid of being dragged on your back, I will accompany you. Headmaster Qingxu was very domineering, which moved Qi Dao's heart. Without further delay, the disciple will first pass on the new system's physical teachings to the headmaster and the elders. As long as we can slow down the decline in cultivation, we will have enough confidence to deal with enemies from the outside. Qi Dao said immediately, now he finally has something to give back to the headmaster and all the elders. Okay. Okay, let's go together, all the elders must be present. Yu Xuanzi laughed and called the old guys to go to the ancient palace together. It didn't take long for everyone to arrive. After learning that this time the decline in realm could be slowed down, every elder felt excited and looked at Qi Dao excitedly. For them, Qi Dao has created one miracle after another, and they completely believe in Qi Dao. Then I'll get straight to the point and get started. Please headmaster and elders empty your mind feel your own flesh and blood, and try your best to immerse your mind in it. The Tao I am going to teach you next will be contrary to the Tao you practice. It is best not to use the old Tao methods to practice, otherwise it will be easy to go astray. Qi Tao warned before preaching that all the elders understood in their hearts and closed their eyes. Then, Qi Tao began, speaking the truth, every word is the most authentic embodiment of the way of the flesh. Around him, the headmaster and all the elders gathered in circles to meditate. It didn't take long for Qi Dao to finish speaking, but all the elders were still immersed in the mysterious feeling. Soon, the headmaster opened his eyes and gained a huge harvest. He condensed the spiritual power in his veins again and found that his realm really blocked the erosion of heaven and earth. Ha ha ha, it really slowed down the decline of the realm, Qi Dao, you are really the savior of our Qingxu sect. The headmaster said in surprise, he could no longer hold back his excitement. Now, because of the new system of flesh and blood, the great Tao, his origin has gained a little, resistance, which can withstand the suppression of the great Tao of heaven and earth. This allowed him to fall from a level that would have fallen within a month. Now he can delay the fall for at least two months, and the magnitude of the fall will not be too great. This has preserved his cultivation level to a great extent. Although it is a little behind his peak, in general, his level has not really dropped. Now, Headmaster Qingxu is confident and can still protect the entire Qingxu mountain. Congratulations, Headmaster, for greatly slowing down the erosion of heaven and earth. Qi Dao was naturally very happy. In any case, he and the entire Qingxu mountain now coexist. If Headmaster Qingxu and other Headmasters can maintain their cultivation, they can buy him as much time as possible. Even if the tyrant sect comes in force, there is no need to be afraid. This is all thanks to you. You even thought of passing on part of the flesh and blood method to us to slow down the decline of the realm. He is worthy of being someone who can create a new system. The headmaster praised from the bottom of his heart, but his heart still couldn't calm down. Not long after, Yu Xuanzi, Qing Kang and other five supreme elders woke up one after another, and all received huge benefits. Then, there was a burst of laughter, and the five supreme elders danced with joy like old children. My cultivation, my cultivation is preserved. God, you haven't thought about it. I have people here who can really buck the trend. They can stop your suppression on our behalf when the law ends. 
Quote, dot, 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 quote. The five supreme elders laughed and then surrounded Qi Dao, all coming to thank him. Master, elders, this is what a disciple should do. You are willing to devote all your teaching efforts to cultivate disciples and buy time for them. Disciples must repay you. And now, this is just a small part, so why bother? Qi Dao said sincerely. Not long after, the other elders also woke up. Although they had fallen into the realm before, they were also delayed now, and they were even moved to tears. The way of the new system is really so contrary to heaven. We haven't even started on the road to the new system, and we can temporarily use the new way to block the erosion of the age of ending law. Saint Child is really amazing and talented. After the elders came out of seclusion, they were all very excited, and they were even happier than they had been given a huge opportunity. After all, in this Dharma ending era, being able to delay the decline in cultivation is considered to be the greatest opportunity. In this way, we don't need to extract the origins of others to maintain our own cultivation. There is no need at all. Even if those people who are eyeing us come again, we are sure to stop them. Yu Xuanzi said excitedly. Originally, he was still worried about the imminent decline in his realm, and it would be difficult to protect the entire Qingshu Mountain. Unexpectedly, Qi Dao would bring them another huge surprise so soon. Elders, if you meditate every day and comprehend some of the Tao I just taught you, you can slow down the decline of your cultivation. As long as the heaven and earth don't suppress it too hard, it will take two months for the elders' level to decline. Qi Dao said again at this time. Seeing the headmaster and elders so happy made him feel warm in his heart. Okay, okay, thanks to you this time. The elders were excited and took all Qi Dao's words to heart. At this time, the headmaster called Qi Dao to go to a place with him. Although you have greatly slowed down the decline of our cultivation this time and we can be safe for a while, we still need to prepare for some things in advance. You come with me, here is the last thing that our Qingxu sect can give you. Headmaster Qingxu said as he led Qi Dao forward. This made Qi Dao quite confused. What was the thing that Master Qingxu was talking about? However, Qi Dao did not ask any more questions and was ready to see what happened. After a short time, the headmaster took him to the ancestral palace dug out of Qingxu Mountain. This ancestral palace is always closed on weekdays, and it will never be opened unless there is an important event. Because, in the ancestral hall, those enshrined are all the ancestors of the Qingxu sect in the past generations. Among them are the secrets left by the ancestors of the past generations that have not been passed down. Every one of them is amazing. At this moment, as the headmaster used the seal, the long dusted door of the ancestral palace was opened, and a rotten atmosphere immediately hit his face. Qi Dao held his breath and looked into the ancestral hall. The ancestral hall is not that big. There are six skeletons sitting cross-legged in the center. Even now, there are still shocking fluctuations. There is no doubt that those six skeletons are the bones left by the ancestors of the Qingxu sect. The headmaster and Qi Dao came to the ancestors' bones and knelt down together to salute. Dear ancestors, Qingxu brought Saint Child Qi Dao here to worship. He wants to obtain an ancient law treasure. Now that the age of Dharma ending has arrived, the Qingxu sect can no longer sustain itself. But even so, disciple Qingxu has never asked any of his disciples to go down the mountain to extract the origin of others, nor has he ever caused trouble for anyone. He has always kept in mind the teachings of his ancestors. Fortunately, Qingxu sect, the eighth generation disciple of Qingxu sect, has an amazing talent. His talent and talent are unparalleled in ancient times. He has created a new body refining system, and now he has achieved some initial success. This time disciple Qingxu came here with Qi Dao, just to ask for the law treasure and give Qi Dao more time to develop a new system. I hope all the ancestors will make it happen. After speaking with great respect, the headmaster lit six incense sticks and placed them in front of the remains of the ancestors. The next moment, something amazing happened. Qi Dao watched with his own eyes as the smoke from six incense candles condensed into human shapes in midair. At the end, it seemed that the six patriarchs reappeared, all looking at Qi Dao with surprised eyes, observing him. Qingxu, what you said is true. There are really descendants of our Qingxu sect who have done something unprecedented and unprecedented and created a new system of body refining. The sixth generation patriarch asked immediately. 
This is not only the founder, but also the master of Qingshu. Three thousand years have passed since today. Absolutely true. Not long ago, the disciples initially came into contact with the new way. They have blocked the erosion of the Dharma ending age. They can barely protect the origin and slow down the decline of the realm. This is definitely something that will shock the past and the present. Qingshu said to the ancestors. This surprised the six patriarchs even more. They looked at Qi Dao, as if they wanted to see through him. Disciple Qi Dao, pay homage to all the ancestors. Disciple here would like to demonstrate the new way to all the ancestors for a closer look. Qi Dao saw the meaning in the eyes of the ancestors and immediately saluted, and then his body was filled with energy and blood. First, there is the surging vitality and blood of the blood refining realm, then the soul of the soul nourishing realm, and finally the great Dao of the casting realm enters the bones. Even, Qi Dao's five internal organs glowed at the end, and a majestic Taoist and divine sound burst out vaguely. Those were the five life palaces. Of course, he has not opened up the life palace in reality yet, but he can already give birth to some visions. When Qi Dao finished his demonstration, the eyes of the six founders were full of shock and excitement. Even if they are dead now and only have weak remnant spirits left, they can still see the defiance of this new system. It's really a new body refining system, completely different from the Tao of Daishindi. So it seems that your new system relies entirely on itself and does not rely on the way of heaven and earth. The third generation patriarch asked, his eyes full of approval. Good, the disciples' new system relies entirely on tapping one's own potential to become stronger. Only flesh and blood is real and the only thing. Qi Dao responded. Upon hearing this, several patriarchs all looked at each other, nodded repeatedly, and finally sighed. It's really the wave behind that pushes the wave ahead. I didn't expect that you could develop a new body refining system under such a situation where it becomes increasingly difficult to practice. How much courage and courage does this show? It's not easy to get to this point. With you here, why should I, the Qingshu sect, be worried? Law treasure day and night, it is clearly prepared for you, it is given to you. Several ancestors praised it, and finally worked together to lead out a crystal clear stone, which actually contained the power of time. Boy, this is the greatest foundation of our Qingshu sect since its founding. Only the past leaders know of its existence. Do you know the effect of this day and night? The fifth generation patriarch Dao sent this crystal stone to Qi Dao's hands. Please give me an explanation, patriarch. Qi Dao looked at it again and again, but didn't understand what it was, and finally said helplessly. Several patriarchs told him directly without beating around the bush. This is a time stone, which contains the law of time. It was refined into a small world by the founder of the religion. The speed of time passing in that small world is different from that in the outside world. One day has passed outside, and a month has passed inside. It can help practitioners greatly improve their cultivation. That's why it's called day and night. However, what I need to tell you is that the suppression in the current law ending era is too strong. I am afraid that this law treasure will not be able to maintain it for long. Now that I leave this law treasure to you, I wish you could make the most of it. The third generation patriarch explained, making Qi Dao ecstatic. What he needs most now is time. He didn't expect that he was worried not long ago, but now it has been solved. Thank you all the ancestors for the treasure. Disciple Qi Dao, we should live up to the kindness of our ancestors and do our best to open up a new system, create glory in this era of Dharma decay, and strengthen the Qingshu sect. Qi Dao carefully took over the day and night, feeling extremely moved. This is the last secret of the Qingshu sect. Only the leaders of the past generations will know the existence of this law treasure. Today, I also gave it to him. No need to be polite, it will only eat dust if left in our hands anyway. This day and night should play its due role. Go ahead. After the third generation patriarch said that, they all disappeared. Only then did Qi Dao realize that the incense candles on the ground had been burned out. Thank you, patriarch, thank you, master. Before leaving, Qi Dao saluted again, and his goal became more determined. With this piece of law treasure, he now truly has the greatest confidence and can safely open up a way forward. However, he still doesn't know how much role Chao Shi can play. Let's go. This is the patriarch's recognition of you. There is no point in thanking me. 
The headmaster smiled slightly, Chi Dao said nothing more, and secretly wrote it down in his heart. After leaving, the headmaster took Chi Dao to open up a cave mansion again in the back mountain of Qingxu Mountain, and even painstakingly arranged the formation of first layer followed by first layer. Until the end, the formations in the cave mansion were densely packed and constantly overlapping. There were at least 20 or 30 formations superimposed, which Chi Dao felt was exaggerated. Headmaster, I am just in seclusion, there is no need to go into such a big fight, right? Chi Dao said, looking at it like this, people who don't know it think it's about sealing something. The headmaster has arranged all the formations regardless of whether they are useful or not. This is to ensure his safety to the greatest extent. It is precisely because of the retreat that we need to be so cautious. You have also seen the previous catastrophe, which was extremely terrifying. This time, we need to arrange the deception formation in advance so that it cannot be noticed by others. Otherwise, there is a high chance that some old monsters will be eyeing this place. The headmaster said with a solemn expression, unambiguous in this regard. In the end, he even called Yu Xuanzi and other five supreme elders, and the six of them worked together to set up the sky-defying formation. By the time the arrangement was completed, it was already evening time. The heaven-deceiving formation can completely cover the aura within it, and even the thief god can hide it. Even if you keep breaking through inside, you don't have to worry about being struck by lightning. Yu Xuanzi said proudly, he was very confident in the deception formation. Then what happens after I leave seclusion? You shouldn't hit me all at once, right? Qi Dao suddenly had this idea. Headmaster. Yu Xuanzi. Elders. What I was most afraid of was the sudden silence in the air. Qi Dao broke the silence with a puff. Thank you so much to the headmaster, master, and three elders. Even if the heavenly tribulations fall together after we leave seclusion, the disciples are confident that they can survive together. Qi Dao straightened his back and said. The headmaster smiled silently. They really hadn't thought about this. They just wanted to block all the aura here and not be noticed by outsiders. Afterwards, Qi Dao entered the cave mansion. This time, the headmaster and five supreme elders were still here to protect the law. How to use this thing? Qi Dao took out a palm-sized chow shi and placed it on the ground in front of him, and then tried to pour the soul into it. Buzz. Chao Shi reacted immediately, as if activated, the law enveloped the entire cave mansion. Before Qi Dao could react, he had already been absorbed by Chao Shi. It's really a small world. Entering the interior of Chao Shi, Qi Dao found himself standing on a mini Qingxu mountain, surrounded by vastness. If we really count, this place can only accommodate a hundred people at most. After a brief adaptation, Qi Dao sensed that the small world inside Chao Shi could still exist for three years. Three years internally is equivalent to a little more than one month in reality. Fortunately, there is enough time. Qi Dao figured it out after understanding it, and immediately started to get into the mood. This time he was not in a hurry to perform the simulation because he had not yet had time to open up the life palace. The Great Dao enters the bones, the five elements of the life palace, and the one life palace represents the origin of a Dao. Qi Dao sat cross-legged, all the energy and blood in his body bursting out at this moment. In his body, the Dao created on every inch of the root bone began to flow toward the five internal organs, and then turned into light spots and was buried in the deepest parts of the five internal organs, and began to take root and sprout. One birth, all dharmas appear. This is a relatively long process. Qi Dao has simulated it in advance before this. This time he has sufficient experience to feed the Dao seeds with his whole body's energy and blood. Then, he took out the massive amounts of heavenly materials and earthly treasures given by the system before, absorbed and refined all these heavenly materials and earthly treasures into Qi and blood, and then continued to feed the Dao seeds. After three days in the small world, the Dao seeds in the heart palace began to bear fruit for the first time. This is, a method of forming flesh and blood, which can improve the physical body in all aspects and undergo a fundamental transformation from the inside out. No, there is still one here. This is the law of true fire, which can burn everything in the world. There is also this, which can freeze time and space and destroy everything. It is the law of mysterious ice. Quote dot 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 quote. There are already hundreds of law flowers in the first life palace alone, and they are still appearing continuously. 
A few days later, flowers of law also bloomed in the Long Life Palace, and there were also hundreds of them. In the next half month, the remaining three palaces of kidney, spleen, and liver in Qi Dao's body were also prescribed laws. For a moment, his body became crystal clear, and Wang Yang was submerged in it by a piece of Taoism. If anyone were here, they would find that the five internal organs in Qi Dao's body seemed to have formed an ancient palace, which was full of life and was the origin of the law. Of course, these laws do not go beyond the scope of the five elements. All dharmas are mine, all dharmas are unique. Qi Dao used the greatest means to pour all the vast sea of energy and blood in his body into the five major life palaces. At this moment, these five most important parts of the human body begin to sublimate, and Taoism flows like a spring. It was not until later that Qi Dao clearly felt that he had reached a critical point. Click, a dull voice sounded, and the five major life palaces were opened directly, and they had physical manifestations. When Qi Dao looked inside himself, he was shocked to find that there was a little person exactly like himself in the five palaces of life. Their treasures are solemn, bathed in the root zone of the law, constantly chanting sutras, and the sound of the law begins to feed Qi Dao's body. At this point, the life palace has been completely opened up. Successful, I successfully opened up the fourth realm in reality, the palace of life. Qi Dao was pleasantly surprised and looked at his current situation. The five fate palaces are the origin of all dharma. At this moment, with Tao as the root and dharma as the fruit, the Tao and dharma of flesh and blood have truly come to pass. However, I don't seem to have enough means to fully unleash the power of Taoism. Now, Taoism needs a carrier that can burst out from the body. Qi Dao soon fell into deep thought again. After a while, he suddenly thought of spiritual power. In the old system, from low level of practice to high level, using spiritual power as the carrier in the realm of creating a way, you can initially use the Dharma between heaven and earth for your own use and exert great power. Do I need spiritual power as a carrier? No. The spiritual power of heaven and earth is drying up. Now, should I use myself as the way, or should I not rely on external forces? Then the only way is to dig out the carrier from the body. Qi Dao whispered, his thoughts clearer this time. However, he soon became confused again. Could it be that he wanted to use the soul as a carrier? But that is the essence of flesh and blood. Although it can indeed produce some secret power, it is too rare in comparison. I am afraid that it will be exhausted after not much use and will not be able to perform Taoist techniques. No matter how much, let's simulate it first. System, start simulation. Qi Dao immediately called the system. Ding, if the number of simulations exceeds 1000 times, it will be reset. Now the second round and the first simulation are started. In the first year, you cultivated the five major life palaces to the extreme, mastered all kinds of magic, and began to seek the carrier of Taoism in your body. In the second year, you use the soul in your body as a carrier to try to exert the power of Taoism. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth year, the plan to use the soul as the carrier failed. You were unwilling to accept it and use the soul as the basis to further explore the limits of flesh and blood. Quote dot 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 quote. In the twentieth year, you have once again broken the limits of flesh and blood, and can exert tens of millions of kilograms of strength with one hand. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, flesh and blood can no longer develop. You forcefully used your blood to attack your soul. As a result, half of your body exploded. You survived with difficulty. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifty-second year, you fully recovered, reflected on your mistakes, and suddenly realized that the spiritual power in the old system needed to enter the muscles and veins, so you began to try to open the muscles and veins. Quote dot 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 quote. In the sixtieth year, you feel that you have seen the hope of success. Some subtle power has indeed been generated in the muscles and veins, which can become the carrier of Taoism, but the amount is too small. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first hundred years, you have studied painstakingly for forty years, thoroughly studied every inch of the muscles and veins in your body, and developed them to the extreme. However, you found that the strength in the muscles and veins is still not enough to perform a complete Taoist spell. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 110th year, you still gained nothing. Quote dot 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 quote. 150 years later, you still gained nothing. Quote dot 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 quote. In the second hundred years, you were completely disappointed. 
In a hurry, you dismantled all your flesh and blood, and finally died suddenly. Ding. This simulation is over and the system will automatically restart. Summary of this simulation. You develop your muscles crazily, thinking it's right, but you get nothing. Review. You need to be patient. Quote dot 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 quote. In the small world, Chi Dao's heart was somewhat broken. He thought hard and couldn't imagine why he couldn't succeed even though he had developed to this extent. No, we can't rush it. I have enough time and opportunity to try and make mistakes. I need the experience of every failure. Looking at the realms we have opened up before, which one did not require a lot of trial and error experience. Come again. Chi Dao comforted himself, adjusted his mood, and started the simulation again. The second round of the second simulation begins. In the first year, you changed your mind and tried to absorb the little spiritual energy between heaven and earth into your body, trying to use it as a carrier. Quote dot 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 quote. In the third year, spiritual power does not reject your body, nor does it reject Taoism. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth year, your cultivation has steadily improved, and you have used your spiritual power as a carrier to exert great power. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, you recall everything that uses spiritual power as a carrier, and feel that this may be right, so you continue walking. Quote dot 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 quote. In the twentieth year, your strength can no longer be improved. Likewise, you have not felt the breath of any new realm. Quote dot 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 quote. In the thirtieth year, you noticed something was wrong, because your flesh and blood began to rot, and the new path in your body was eroded. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 35th year, your flesh and blood have further decayed. This made you feel that you had gone the wrong way before. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 50th year, you are completely in despair because your flesh and blood are completely rotten. Similarly, you have also reached the end of your life. In the 51st year, you died. This simulation is over and the system will automatically restart. Summary of this simulation. You have a new idea, but it goes against your own Tao. Evaluation. Another wrong path. After hearing the system summary and evaluation, Chi Dao suddenly realized why his body was still decaying. The spiritual power of the outside world is not suitable for me to absorb at all, let alone be used as a carrier of Taoism. Otherwise, the only way is decay. In fact, even my new system will be completely eroded. It's too dangerous. Chi Dao reflected. After learning this lesson, he entered the simulation world again. The third simulation. The fifth simulation. The tenth simulation. Dot dot dot. In the small world, half a month passed quickly, and Chi Dao failed again. This was his third hundredth failure, and he still could not find a carrier of Taoism in his body. What's wrong? Or is there no place in flesh and blood that can serve as a carrier of Taoism? However, the new system has been completed, and it is impossible to find a way out in the future. Chi Dao thought hard. Later, he plunged into the simulation. In half a month, another 200 simulations have passed, and the total number of simulations has reached 500. This time, Chi Dao finally had some clues. How could I forget that after the spiritual power of the old system is absorbed into the body, it will enter the Dantian through the meridians. The Dantian can contain spiritual energy, so it is naturally a source that can be tapped. I didn't even think of it at the first time. Chi Dao Fa said in a daze, this time he finally came to his senses. The Dantian is just below the human belly button, about an inch in size. Thinking of this, Chi Dao started the simulation again. This time he had to dig out the source of the convergence of muscles and veins. Chi Dao is confident that this time he is right. Ding. The second round of the 501st simulation begins. In the first year, you learn from all previous failed experiences and explore and develop around Dantian. Quote dot 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 quote. In the third year, your Dantian was opened up twice, but you found that it was very dim and there was nothing inside. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth year, you accidentally broke your Dantian. After repairing it, you continued to develop your potential. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, your Dantian was opened ten times larger than at the beginning. You vaguely noticed that there is a huge amount of divine power inside the Dantian, which made you work harder. Quote dot 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 quote. In the twentieth year, with your extreme patience, the last veil of Dantian was lifted by you. You felt a massive amount of power, which is a source of power that can be used as a carrier of Taoism. 
In the 21st year, you desperately wanted to draw out all the carrier power in your Dantian. As a result, your Dantian was like a dike bursting, and a massive amount of power rushed out, causing your body to explode on the spot. Die. This simulation is over and the system will automatically restart. Summary of this simulation. You finally found the right source and successfully saw the carrier of Taoism. Evaluation. You are still too hasty. Listening to the sound of the system, Chi Dao woke up in the small world in an instant and then subconsciously touched his belly button. If it succeeds, it will be the next level of power. It is absolutely true. With that source of power as the carrier of Taoism, it will definitely not be weaker than the spiritual energy between heaven and earth, or even stronger. Chi Dao was pleasantly surprised, not feeling decadent after failure. However, he was still too anxious at the time and wanted to draw out all the power in his Dantian at once, causing it to break and explode his physical body. Needless to say, the power contained in that Dantian is absolutely huge. Come again, this time I will definitely open it up. Chi Dao decided to use the most stable method to open up his Dantian this time, and he absolutely couldn't make any more mistakes. In the first year, you were very steady and carefully opened up your Dantian. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, your Dantian has been opened up ten times wider than it was at the beginning. Quote dot 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 quote. In the twentieth year, you finally touched the veil in the Dantian and once again felt the vast power of the Taoist carrier inside. You endured the excitement in your heart and patiently opened up. Quote dot 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 quote. In the thirtieth year, you successfully tore apart the final veil and saw the vast power inside, boundless. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, you took out part of the carrier power of Taoism and tried it. The result was very ideal. The power exerted is more terrifying than using spiritual power as the carrier. Quote dot 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 quote. In the sixtieth year, you further expanded your Dantian and wanted to absorb more power, but you quickly realized a problem. The carrier power you drew out had nowhere to put it, and it had to be used immediately. In the sixty-first year, there were no accidents. After the Dantian was opened to a large enough extent, it burst again. You were unable to prevent it, and your body exploded again. This simulation is over and the system will automatically restart. Summary of this simulation. You were very robust, but you still failed. Evaluation. You need a channel to discharge. Quote dot 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 quote. Wait, flood relief. Chi Dao listened to the system's evaluation, and this time it gave him another huge inspiration. That's right, his Dantian contains a vast ocean of power, majestic and thick, no different from a real sea. The problem is that after the connection is released, the power does not have enough place to circulate, and it will either be used up all at once, or the embankment will burst and the body will explode. It's like a big river needs to discharge water in order to prevent it from gushing out after days of heavy rain. There is only one way to release the flood in the flesh and blood, and that is to guide the power emerging from the dantian to the muscles and veins to form a cycle. Even if the muscles and veins cannot hold up, they can still be transferred back to the dantian to complete the circulation. Naturally, the physical body does not have to worry about being burst. Thinking of this, Chi Dao patted his thigh. Sure enough, no place in the human body is waste, everything is useful. The system's evaluation is really a godsend and helped me again. Chi Dao sighed in his heart, if there was no systematic evaluation, he would really need to explore for a while. Afterwards, Chi Dao started the simulation again. In the first year, you found the right way. This time you opened up your Dantian as quickly as possible. In the second year, the Dantian was ten times larger than at the beginning. In the third year, the veil inside the Dantian appears, and it takes you half a year to tear it apart. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth year, you further open up the Dantian, allowing the carrier power inside to spurt out directly and submerge into the muscles and veins of the body. In the sixth year, your tendons connected to your Dantian and completed a great cycle for the first time. This time it was perfect. As expected, there was no more accidental death due to body explosion. In the seventh year, you continue to open up your Dantian. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, your Dantian is about a hundred times larger than at the beginning, but there is still no boundary inside, and there is still a steady stream of carrier power pouring out. Quote dot 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 quote. 
In the twentieth year, your dantian is about a thousand times larger than at the beginning, and the internal boundaries have still not been opened to the end. You realize that this is related to the limit of your own flesh and blood. The stronger the flesh and blood, the more power you can tap. Just more. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, your dantian is a billion times bigger than it was at the beginning. Now you finally feel some resistance and feel like a miner. Quote dot 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 quote. In the eightieth year, you finally opened up your dantian to the limit. At this time, your dantian is already tens of billions times larger than at the beginning, and the power inside is boundless, endless, and endless. In the eighty-fifth year, it took you five years to come out of the dantian. You saw that the tens of billions of times the dantian you just opened is actually the size of a cell, but you have succeeded. Quote dot 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 quote. In the eighty-seventh year, you started to use the power in your dantian to practice. It went very smoothly. The tide has lifted all boats. Quote dot 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 quote. In the ninetieth year, you reached a new great realm. This is the fifth great realm you have opened up. You named it the Divine Spring Realm, which means that the source of power inside the Dantian is boundless. Congratulations to the host for the success of this simulation. You have obtained the heavenly material and earthly treasure rewards required during the simulation process. Summary of this simulation. Sumeru mustard seeds, one Dantian can become an ocean. Evaluation. You have opened up the source of human body's power. Chi Dao suddenly woke up in a small world, and the insights in his heart can be said to be endless. That small Dantian actually contains the origin of the human body. It can be said to be the beginning of everything, earlier than the way of the physical body. The fifth great realm, I succeeded. After returning from the simulated world, Chi Dao immediately opened up the fifth realm in the small world. The flow of time in this small world is different from that in reality. He simulated it for a month inside, and only one day passed outside. Such ample time just gave Chi Dao the maximum space to display. Extend the Dantian and open the Divine Spring. Chi Dao devoted himself wholeheartedly to his Dantian. The so-called Sumeru mustard seed, even a grain of dust can open up a piece of Wangyang. Now, this is the situation in his Dantian. After hundreds of failed experiences, he was already very good at developing it, and he was flawless in every aspect. Three days later, he had touched the veil of the Divine Spring, broken it open, and let out the Divine Spring. At the same time, Chi Dao further expanded his Dantian and constantly explored the limits of his own Dantian. Hundred times, a thousand times, ten thousand times, a hundred thousand times, a billion times, a billion times, tens of billions times. Even though Chi Dao was familiar with the road, it took three months to fully expand the Dantian to tens of billions of times its limit. At the same time, the divine spring like Wang Yang also poured into every muscle and vein of the body, starting a daily cycle, endless. Success. Chi Dao opened his eyes, projecting two dazzling golden lights. The next moment, he used the divine power in his body to shoot out with a palm, directly blasting the void in front of him. Heavenly Law Shaping Earth covering the sky with the snap of a finger. Chi Dao further sublimated, and his body instantly swelled under the blessing of divine Taoism and divine power. As Chi Dao tried, countless stars appeared around him, but in comparison, they were as small as dust. Between the opening and closing of Chi Dao's eyes, there are gorgeous stars in a dazzling milky way. Body tempering, and every hair is hung with, stars, like dewdrops. Of course, these are not real stars, but are some manifestations of Taoism. Boom, Qi Dao converges divine ability, everything turns into nothingness and disappears. The divine spring realm is a great completion, which can be compared to the quasi-heaven realm of the old system. That is to say, I have truly reached the level of the supreme elder in the realm of the new system. Qi Dao sat down cross-legged and thought in his mind. In the old system, those in the quasi-tian realm were enough to become supreme elders in the apex level sect, and those in the higher level lord realm were called leader. Whether it is the Qingshu sect or the tyrant sect and other apex level sects, the masters are all at this level and are transitioning to the realm of holy destiny. Only when you reach the realm of the holy destiny can you truly transcend this world. You can travel alone in the sea of stars and destroy the stars with a snap of your fingers. Such a being is called a saint but it is almost invisible in the world. Only those high-ranking outer world monasteries can have such terrifying existence. 
I haven't seen enough now. No matter what, I have to open up a realm within three years and be on par with the Holy Mandate. Otherwise, why would we protect all the elders and brothers of Qingxu sect? Qi Dao whispered, determined. Then, he entered the simulation world again. This time he wanted to open up the next big realm, the Lord. The second round of the 505th simulation begins. In the first year, you devoted yourself to practice, constantly explored the potential of your flesh and blood body, and began to look for inspiration for the next great realm. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth year, you are still practicing and enlightening, and you have a good attitude and are not in a hurry. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, you try to dig deeper into the life palace. Quote dot 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 quote. In the twentieth year, your life palace is at its peak. Although you have not found inspiration for the next great realm, you have given birth to more dharma. Quote dot 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 quote. In the thirtieth year, your life palace can no longer be opened. You realize that it is impossible to gain any more gains from the life palace, and you begin to seek a breakthrough from the dantian of flesh and blood. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, you continue to open up your dantian. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first hundred years, you feel that your dantian has reached a certain limit again. The range of your dantian has become 20 billion times larger than at the beginning. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 150th year, you broke the so-called limit, only to find that you had pierced your dantian, the divine spring burst its banks again, and your body was bursting. This simulation is over and the system will automatically restart. Summary of this simulation. You constantly seek breakthroughs and do not miss any place that can be opened up. Evaluation. You need an opportunity. After the system's voice finished speaking, Chi Dao fell into deep thought. According to the previously developed realm, they should all be important parts of the human body. First the flesh and blood of the whole body, then the bones, then the five internal organs, and finally the dantian. In total, there aren't many places that can be opened up physically. Chi Dao began to make various guesses in his mind, and suddenly thought of his spine. The spine of the human body supports the entire body. It is so intricate that it is called the dragon's spine, and its importance is no less important than the five life palaces. Then let's open dragons back this time. Chi Dao's eyes lit up and he immediately made up his mind to start the next simulation. The second round of the 506th simulation begins. The first year, you're trying to carve out your spine, which is the trunk center of the body. In the second year, you devote yourself to exploring the potential of your spine and find that you have found the right path, which also has great potential. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, you have opened up your entire spine, but you still haven't seen the dawn of the next great realm. Quote dot 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 quote. In your fiftieth year, you're still carving out your spine. Quote dot 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 quote. In the second hundred years, you are still opening up the spine and getting nothing. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth hundred years, you are extremely desperate. Your spine has been open to the extreme, but you have no hope of reaching the next big realm. In the 501st year, you restarted the simulation. Quote dot 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 quote. Next, during the three months in the small world, Chi Dao continued to simulate more than 3,000 times, but still couldn't get the point. I feel like it's so close, why can't I see the dawn of the next great realm? Chi Dao couldn't believe that it took him so long this time and he still couldn't see hope. All told, these more than 3,000 simulations are longer than all previous realm opening times combined. Chi Dao doesn't want to give up until the last moment, and now he still has time. Again, what if the simulation fails 10,000 times? Chi Dao gritted his teeth and decided to fight to the end. Next, a thousand simulations failed, two thousand simulations failed. Ten months have passed in the small world, and ten days have passed in the real world outside. The first year in the small world is almost over. The repeated failures have greatly affected his mentality. Even though Chi Dao keeps comforting himself, he is now a little desperate. This feeling of opening up a way forward and constantly exploring is really painful. Fortunately, Chi Dao caught a glimmer of inspiration amidst a total of 6,000 simulation failures. When the spine is open to the extreme, it looks like a step. You can follow it up, as if you are ascending to the sky. Then this time, I will follow the dragon's spine and ascend to the sky. The first year, you're constantly exploring the potential of your spine. 
Quote dot 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 quote. In the third year, your spine has developed to the extreme, and it looks like a road to the sky. In the fourth year, you boarded your dragon spine and began to walk up the road to reach the end. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, you feel that you have walked for a long time before finally reaching the end. You find that you have arrived at the position between the eyebrows, which is the birthplace of the primordial spirit of the old system. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifteenth year, you have understood clearly that by following the dragon's spine and climbing to the sky, the final place you reach is between the eyebrows. This place is named Lingtai by you, which means the top of the mountain, where you can touch the highest sky. Quote dot 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 quote. In the twentieth year, a vague figure appeared on the memorial platform you opened. You couldn't see clearly, but you knew it was you. Quote dot 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 quote. In the thirtieth year, you are clearer on the spiritual platform, and at the same time, you sense a secret power that surpasses the power of the primordial spirit of the old system. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, you further opened up the spiritual platform and made the inside of your eyebrows clearer. You found that your eyes can already see the shattering void. Quote dot 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 quote. In the hundredth year, you finally appeared on the spiritual platform, with a trace of fairy energy appearing on it. You know, this is your true spirit. Quote dot 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 quote. In the second hundred years, your five major life palaces resonate with the spiritual platform, and the sound of chanting continues, as if it transcends ancient and modern times. Quote dot 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 quote. In the third hundred years, you suffered a catastrophe. The terrible Great Dao catastrophe reappeared, constantly bombarding your heavenly spirit cap and sinking from the Lingtai into the five life palaces. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 500th year, your true spirit was bathed on the spiritual platform and successfully survived the Great Tao Catastrophe and underwent nine extreme transformations. In the 501st year, you succeeded. At the moment when the Lingtai Ultimate Realm transformed, you felt that you could cover a distance of trillions of miles with a single thought, and you could also initially understand your own cause and effect. Ding! Congratulations to the host for the success of this simulation. All the heavenly materials and earthly treasures consumed in this simulation have been distributed in the form of rewards. Summary of this simulation. Your Taoist heart is as solid as a rock. Six thousand times of constant death did not make you despair, and you finally successfully opened up the realm of Lingtai. Summary. You have developed the human body's potential to the extreme. Quote dot 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 quote. After six thousand failures, who says I'm not desperate? It's just that I have a reason to succeed. Who can not be desperate? Chi Dao had no expression on his face when he heard the sound of the system. After 6,000 repeated failures, he was directly numb. Even if he succeeds now, he can't smile because he has no emotion. The situation didn't get better until he cut off the despair and numbness caused by those 6,000 times. Time is running out. It took nearly a year to open the spiritual platform. In total, there are less than two years left. In reality, it should have been almost half a month. Chi Dao planned to open up the realm of Lingtai in the small world. The only difference between this small world and the great world is the passage of time. In fact, it can also be regarded as a part of the big world. Climb the road to heaven, open the spiritual platform, and clear away the fog that surrounds true spirit. I want to be worthy of shattering void and have a glimpse of the secret of heaven. Chi Dao clasped his hands together and kept pinching the seal. The next moment, his spine glowed, and there was a faint sound of dragon roar, as if a real dragon was coming to life. It took Chi Dao a month to open up dragon's back. Next, is the road to heaven and the spiritual platform. Even if he has sufficient experience, trying it again in the small world is full of pressure, and his speed will inevitably be affected. On this seemingly short journey, it took Chi Dao three months to finally reach the spiritual platform at the end. Now one year and two months have passed since he entered the small world. Open. The palace of life helps me true spirit. Chi Dao used Taoism to make the five major life palaces and the spiritual platform resonate in advance. This is accelerating the pace of development. Buzz. The loud chanting of sutras appeared again. Among the five major life palaces, there was a mini Chi Dao sitting cross-legged with a majestic appearance, reciting various sutras. In a blink of an eye, half a year has passed. On this day, there was a sensation in the small world. Chi Dao's spiritual platform was opened. His eyebrows were dazzling, 
and the light shot straight into the sky like a small sun. Fortunately, this is a small world inside, and no matter how big the vision is, it cannot spread outside. In addition, there is a deceiving formation in the cave mansion outside, and the great Tao in the big world cannot sense it. Qi Dao successfully opened up the spiritual platform, so there is no need to worry about being struck by lightning. There are some flaws and it's not perfect yet. However, we can go out and undergo baptism through the thunder tribulation of the old path, so that the spiritual platform will be completely flawless and perfect. Qi Dao whispered, feeling his now powerful and terrifying body. Now, he has developed a spiritual platform realm that can rival the realm of the Lord. It is no exaggeration to say that he is now the leader of a religion, and he can cover the sky with one hand, but Qi Dao still feels that it is not enough. The age of ending Dharma is too scary, and even the realm of the Lord may not be enough. After all, there are still those old monsters outside the world. He must make all plans to give himself enough strength to deal with future variables. After passing the spiritual platform, you touch the highest sky. Then this time you will break through the shackles and reach the sky and the earth. Qi Dao's eyes were blazing. After he completely calmed down, he began to prepare to open up the next big realm. He wanted to be stronger. All in all, there is still plenty of time in the small world. One and a half years is enough for him to open up the next big realm. However, just when Qi Dao was about to perform the simulation, he suddenly felt a stinging pain in his eyes. This feeling is extremely mysterious, it is the power transmitted from the spiritual platform. How is this going? Have the power to change my eyes? Qi Dao was surprised. How could he be unfamiliar with this power? This is the power from the spiritual platform. Soon, he knew. When his two eyes opened again, the divine light bloomed, and everything he looked at was true. No falsehood or ghost could escape his eyes. This is the benefit brought by the improvement of the spiritual platform. It begins to feed back his perception. It is not only the improvement of eyesight, but the improvement of all aspects. Even without using his spiritual consciousness, Qi Dao can directly sense all movements within thousands of miles. Is this a dazzling eye for me? Qi Dao tried his eyes again and found that they were indeed very clear, stronger than other aspects of perception. Next, Qi Dao wasted no time and restarted the simulation. He had a premonition in his heart that the improvement brought about by opening up the realm this time would be huge and turn the world upside down. Because the human body has been developed to the extreme by him. From the spiritual platform to the Dantian, the most important parts of the human body have been sublimated and opened up a new realm. Even the slightest transformation next will be huge. This is already the ninth round of simulation, and one round represents a thousand simulations. Qi Dao is ready and begins to open up the realm above the spiritual platform. In the first year, your true spirit sat cross-legged on the spiritual platform, looked up at the sky, and felt the power in the dark. Your intuition told you that you had to break all the shackles this time. In the second year, your true spirit tried to attack the chaos on the spiritual platform for the first time, and for the first time it felt like opening heaven. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, you keep trying. True spirit uses Taoism as an axe to attack the thick power of chaos. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, you feel extremely tired. It is difficult to open up the chaos. It took you forty years to open up less than ten feet, let alone touch the highest sky. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first hundred years, your true spirit is so tired that it can't lift the Taoist axe in your hand, so you can only stop and rest for a while. In the 101st year, you rested for a whole year and opened up chaos again. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 200th year, you have opened up a distance of 15 feet, but you still can't see any hope. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth hundred years, you realize that the higher you go, the harder it is to open up the chaos. There is obviously a power guiding you, but you are powerless and you are unwilling to do so. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first thousand years, you opened up a distance of twenty feet, but it was still not enough to see any hope. Quote dot 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 quote. In the second thousand years, you have opened up twenty-five feet, and the Taoist axe in your hand has been completely wiped out. You are still unwilling to give up and firmly believe that you can make it to the end. Quote dot 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 quote. In the third thousand years, you have opened up to 29 feet, and you can't make any further progress. 
Quote dot 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 quote. In the 5,000 years, the distance of one foot has taken you 2,000 years and caused you huge self-doubt. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 8,000 years, you are almost standing still, and the power of Chu Ji Ling Tai cannot make any further progress. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 15,000 years, you are old and your life is about to end. Before you die, you lament why opening heaven is so difficult. This simulation is over and the system will automatically restart. Summary of this simulation. You have spent all your time and only opened heaven 10 feet away. What is desperate is that there is no sign of the end of the end of the Dharma era. Evaluation. It's hard to do it alone opening heaven. Chi Dao quickly recovered from his sluggish state and soon turned into a vibrant young man again. He began to reflect and realize that he was on the right path, but the problem was that the power of the spiritual platform alone was too weak. Can I mobilize the power of blood refining, soul nourishing, Dao casting, life palace, and divine spring together? If you can use all your strength, there may be hope. Chi Dao thought of the system evaluation, which was really timely. It's just a spiritual platform, how can I open heaven by myself? Thinking of this, Chi Dao immediately entered the simulation world and started the simulation again. In the first year, you tried to mobilize yourself in the palace of life and rushed to the morning platform together, and found that it was very effective. In the second year, in your body, miniaturized selves will come out of the blood refining realm, the soul nurturing realm, the casting realm, and the divine spring realm, and together they will ascend to heaven and step onto the spiritual platform. In the third year, you are very happy because with all your strength, the chaos on the spiritual platform was disturbed. In just the third year, a distance of 10 feet was opened in an instant. Quote dot 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 quote. In the tenth year, the six realms, a total of ten representing their respective extremes, you opened up a distance of twenty feet, barely feeling a bit tired. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fiftieth year, you opened up a distance of thirty feet in the chaos, breaking the previous record of opening heaven four thousand nine hundred fifty years in advance. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first hundred years, ten of you have managed to reach a distance of forty feet in the chaos. You are already somewhat exhausted. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 200th year, there is no unstoppable road for mankind. You opened a distance of 50 feet and dug an innate spirit root in the chaos above the spiritual platform. After taking it, you replenished all the consumption. Every level of you have been sublimated once. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 500th years, you opened up to a distance of 65 feet and once again obtained a chaos gourd vine from the chaos, allowing the mini figures representing each of your realms to sublimate again, replenishing all the consumption. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first thousand years, you have understood that the process of opening heaven has opened up the next great realm, but only after penetrating the chaos on the spiritual platform can you truly penetrate and transcend. Quote dot 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 quote. In the second thousand years, each of you representing the extreme realm dug out an innate Tao lotus from the chaos. After taking it, it replenished the consumption and sublimated for the third time. Quote dot 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 quote. In the fifth thousand years, three sublimations have made you far beyond your initial state. You have opened up a distance of 150 feet in the chaos without any fatigue. Quote dot 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 quote. In the eighth thousand years, you opened up 300 feet into the chaos. You found an innate egg. You pried it open and took it. It was the fourth sublimation. Quote dot 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 quote. In the first 10,000 years, open up 400 feet into the chaos. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 15,000 years, your lifespan is still abundant, because after four sublimations, your lifespan has been greatly improved. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 20,000th year, open up 700 feet into the chaos, take the innate divine vine, and sublimate for the fifth time. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 30,000th year, we will open up a thousand feet into the chaos. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 50,000th year, the chaos around you is getting thinner and thinner. You know that you are about to reach a new realm. At this time, you are already sublimating for the seventh time. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 80,000th year, you touched the highest sky above chaos and sublimated for the ninth time. In the 8,000th first year, the karma of karma and the great catastrophe will fall together, and they will kill you. Quote dot 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 quote. In the 90,000th year, 
you struggled with the karma and the great catastrophe for 10,000 years and survived with difficulty. You succeeded and opened up the realm of Tongtian, which means reaching the sky and the earth, covering the sky with a snap of your finger. Ding, this simulation is successful, and all the innate spiritual objects obtained in this simulation have been distributed as rewards. Summary of this simulation. After 90,000 years of vicissitudes, you have successfully opened up the seventh realm. Evaluation. Connecting the heavens and the earth, comparable to the holy mandate. One thought can connect the past and the present, and one thought can break the cause and effect. After the system prompts, all the nine innate spiritual objects Qi Dao obtained after opening up the simulated world appeared next to him. At this moment, Qi Dao regained his clarity and was ecstatic. With these spiritual objects, he can first sublimate himself to the extreme realm, and then open up the chaos at the same time. The speed will definitely be greatly increased. Thinking of this, Qi Dao decisively took these innate spiritual objects in advance to improve himself. He realized that he had been in the simulated world for 90,000 years. Even though a year had passed in this small world, half a month had passed in reality. Qi Dao understood that he had to hurry up and not waste any time. Sublimation. Use your whole body to the extreme state to split the chaotic high sky. Qi Dao sits cross-legged in the small world, every inch of flesh and blood is boiling, and his divine power is surging. Then, Qi Dao began to take the innate spiritual substance. After refining, it was sublimated for the first time, and then for the second time. In one day, Qi Dao's whole body has gone through nine sublimations and transformations. He has already surpassed the Lingtai realm, but there is still a slight gap between him and the Tongtian realm. This gap can only be completely penetrated after the Lingtai opening heaven, reaching heaven and earth. Six extreme realms, open. Qi Dao keeps needing the seals, and there is a mini version of him coming out of the blood refining realm, soul nurturing realm, casting Dao realm, life palace realm, divine spring realm, and Lingtai realm, representing the limit of each realm. There are ten in total. After nine times of sublimation, these ten little people who represented his extreme state all exuded powerful light and began to move up the dragon's spine, finally ascending to the spiritual platform. Qi Dao still used Taoism as his axe this time, and the ten villains rushed directly into the chaos. After nine times of sublimation and transformation, Qi Dao's development speed has increased ten thousand times. Not to mention that Qi Dao is familiar with the road and knows exactly where the innate spiritual being exists, and it can be sublimated again after taking it. In the next ten days, Qi Dao kept, opening heaven, and took the spiritual objects he found. In the end, each of his extreme realms was sublimated again, adding up to 18 times of sublimation and transformation. The way of pouring out flesh and blood, opening heaven. Qi Dao clasped his palms together and tried his best to mobilize the representatives of each extreme realm to break the last layer of shackles together. Boom! At this moment, Qi Dao's body seemed to have completely opened some kind of shackles, and his whole body was filled with spirit communication, and the Dao followed the natural way. The moment opening heaven succeeded, Qi Dao's body was filled with rich purple energy, and gods such as a true dragon, an immortal phoenix, and a unicorn evolved to congratulate him and surround him. From top to bottom, every inch of flesh and blood is crystal clear and flawless. Great completion at the tenth level of Tongtian realm. Raise your hand to open heaven, and put your foot down to bring forth all things. Qi Dao whispers and realizes himself. Now, he has completely established the new system, comparable to the realm of the holy destiny, and has a glimpse of the path to immortality. No matter how hard it is for heaven and earth to suppress me, the end of dharma will also be trampled under my feet. What is the new way? Resurrection from the old way, new life from death. Now, I can take over the cause and effect of the new system, and I can break the secrets of heaven with just a raise of my hand. Qi Dao stood tall and his eyes were bright, as if he contained a sea of stars in it. It was so profound. He is convinced that he can now compare with those old monsters in the world. He can hold a vast sea of stars in one hand and be fearless of all enemies. There is still something missing. The Lingtai realm is not perfect, and other realms seem to be a little short of baptism. In this case, let's use the great calamity of the old way to completely perfect ourselves. Qi Dao thought, the next second, he came out of seclusion, and the day and night behind him also shattered, completely unusable. All in all, 
he has been in seclusion here for more than a month, and he still doesn't know what's going on outside. Dot dot dot. Boom. Chi Dao took one step out of the cave mansion of retreat. Each step of the lotus was the embodiment of the law. Wherever he passed, the great Dao took root and actually blocked the suppression of the great world. Almost at the same time, a thundercloud rolled over Qingshu Mountain. This time, the calamity cloud directly covered the entire central territory. Rolling thunderclouds cover thousands of miles. As long as they are in the middle realm, they have a feeling of doomsday at this moment. They raise their heads and look at the sky in great horror. Oh my god, what's going on? Will the era of Dharma end be further suppressed again? Why do I feel so suffocated, like I'm facing a supreme figure? Quote dot 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 quote. Hundreds of millions of living beings are in panic and feel the tremendous pressure of heaven and earth. At this time, a huge storm appeared in Qingshu Mountain located in the center. The headmaster and others felt it and were alarmed. What's going on? Will our cultivation be reduced again in the age of Dharma ending? Or are those fools from the tyrant sect coming? Yu Xuanzi was the first to rush out, but from a distance he saw Qi Dao standing on the top of Qingshu Mountain with his hands behind his back. He seemed to be detached from the world, and just standing there gave people a feeling of elusiveness, as if he would ride the wind back at any time. It's Qi Dao, he's out of seclusion. But why are the natural phenomena so terrifying? Is it because of the new system? The elders knew the inside story, but they couldn't see anything at this time. Even the headmaster standing below felt the terrible suffocation in the sky, which made even a person in the realm of the Lord feel terrified and uneasy, and had the urge to kneel down. Headmaster, Master, and all the elders, there is no need to worry about me. It's just a matter of time. I will block everything. Chi Dao sensed the arrival of the headmaster and the others, turned around and smiled. The head teacher's heart palpitated for a moment, and he felt the unparalleled aura from Chi Dao at this moment. He had the illusion that Chi Dao could kill a person of his level with just one look. Chi Dao, you, succeeded. The headmaster's voice trembled slightly as he looked at the lone figure of thunder tribulation on the top of the mountain. Yes, thanks to the care of the master and the elders, the disciple succeeded. Now, it is comparable to the holy mandate, Chi Dao said smiling brightly and extremely confident. As soon as he finished speaking, a five-color thunder waterfall fell directly above his head. This was no longer as simple as a thunder tribulation. After all, Chi Dao's previous breakthrough in the small world was concealed by the deceiving formation and was not noticed by the big world. Now that he has come out, he can no longer hide it. He is directly targeted by the great Dao of heaven and earth and wants to kill him. Come on, old way. When I step into a new system, I just need you to help me achieve complete perfection in every realm and truly transcend. Chi Dao raised his head, his eyes were so bright. The next moment, he took the initiative to meet him, opened his mouth and swallowed the five-color thunder waterfall without any damage to his body. This, is this transcending tribulation, on Qingshu Mountain, the headmaster and others were dumbfounded. What kind of method was this? Opening his mouth can swallow calamity, and raising his hand as the golden lotus of Taoism. At this time, Qi Dao has no fear of the great Tao calamity of death. After swallowing the five-color thunder waterfall in one gulp, Qi Dao took the initiative to rush up to the sky to fight against the catastrophe of heaven and earth, lest Qingshu Mountain below be involved in the catastrophe. Now, he is marching against the calamity and heading towards heaven. Boom! The great Tao of heaven and earth was angered. He has never seen such an arrogant and powerful person. Then, a big hole opened in the depths of the sky, and this time a seven-color death disaster descended, which represented the supreme will and did not allow any disobedient life in the world. Chapter 31 This death calamity is so terrible, the seven-color great Tao calamity, lifeless, like the falling scythe of the god of death. During this process, the galaxy withers away. This is the absolute power of annihilation, which can make all things die. When such a death disaster came, the four realms were completely shaken. Countless leaders level figures held their breaths and looked at the figure deep in the sky. Then what kind of character is he who can resist the catastrophe of heaven and earth in the end of the Dharma era? Moreover, that kind of catastrophe is too terrifying. It seems like a wisp is enough to kill the leader and turn an entire region into nothing. Then, what level of creature is it? 
could it be some self-proclaimed ancient monster, or a powerful person who came out of the restricted area of the world? Impossible, that is the direction of Qingshu Mountain, how could it be a creature from outside the world? Qingshu Mountain, even if the ancestor of Qingshu Mountain is revived, he will not be able to reach such a terrible situation, let alone this is the end of the Dharma era. Quote dot 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 quote. All the creatures in the four realms were shocked, especially the powerful ones at the leader level, whose eyes were fixed on the figure walking in the sky. Origin. It's true. Reincarnation. Qi Dao is not afraid of the terrible seven-color death disaster. He raises his hand and blasts out with the most primitive power of great Dao. He does not need to use any Taoism, or in other words, every move he makes is already the highest expression of Taoism. The power of the new system is clearly demonstrated in his body at this moment. Boom, Qi Dao punched out, and the seven-color death disaster directly annihilated a large area, making it difficult to get close. And next, he used law manifestation to stand outside the sky with an eye ten thousand times bigger than the stars. Destroy, Qi Dao took action again, and as he said, he raised his palm to cut off the seven-color death calamity and then refined it in one breath. During this period, the Milky Way was like a waterfall, and he took it into his mouth like drinking water. At this moment, his body seemed to be able to burst the universe. The sense of oppression was so powerful. Oh my God, I'm afraid this is not just a creature at the level of the holy life. Even the ancestor level figures in the outer world dojo can't do this. This, couldn't it be an immortal level existence? Quote dot 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 quote. A leader said anxiously. Just looking at the back that burst the sky, he felt like he was about to explode, unable to withstand the pressure. Probably, the aura on his body is so strange. Why can't I feel the spiritual energy fluctuations in his body? Raise your hands to reach the sky, open your mouth to swallow calamity, how could such a creature exist in the age of ending dharma? Quote dot 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 quote. Chi Dao focused on transcending tribulation, and at this time he took the initiative to face the outbreak of the Great Tao Tribulation. Boom, the Great Tao Tribulation appeared again, but this time it was beyond Qi Dao's expectation and did not kill him directly. On the contrary, the nine-color death calamity appeared in front of him, but it evolved into a pavilion and palace, and finally paved a sacred path at his feet. What does this mean? Qi Dao narrowed his eyes and speculated in his mind. He could clearly feel a terrible force targeting him, but now it seemed to be suppressing him in another form. And almost at the moment when the nine-colored death tribulation appeared, they felt the turmoil in the universe and the ancestors of the outer world dojo were awakened. That kind of person, just by opening his eyes is enough to see through billions of miles of galaxies. The nine-colored death tribulation is a concrete great tribulation of ancient and modern times. How could such a great tribulation occur in the age of Dharma ending? Even if we look at the entire ancient history, there are only a few records of such catastrophes, and they are usually reserved for people with amazing talents and talents who can influence the future. Could it be that this person in front of me can affect the future? An ancestor looked at this place across billions of miles of stars and felt extremely frightened. He was surprised, and his heart was filled with turmoil. The young man was not old at all, at least not even a hundred years old. However, looking at that power, it is not weaker than saint travel like them. I have deduced the future in advance and found that there is indeed one person who can affect the overall situation of the entire universe in the future. Could it be this person? Another ancestor level figure spoke up. He was farther away from the sea of stars, and passed countless stars around him, as if he was rushing. Strange, why is this person's Taoist aura completely different from ours? If I don't feel it carefully, I won't even notice his cultivation. However, he is really using terrible methods, and he is not weaker than us old guys. Quote dot 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 quote. Why think so much, just deduce it again. An ancestor level figure spoke domineeringly, but the result was that he quickly caused bloodshed in the universe and eclipsed countless star domains. How can it be? This child cannot be deduced. The secret is too terrifying. There is cause and effect and catastrophe from the future staring at me. The ancestor who deduced Qi Dao exclaimed that he was stained with karma, and he was a little desperate. Let's take a look first and then talk. This kid is so extraordinary. I always feel that this is a completely different Taoist system. An ancestor said this, and several old monsters immediately exploded.
Absolutely impossible. How can there be two different Taoist systems in the world? If God doesn't allow it, one of the Taoist systems will be destroyed. Then how can we explain this? It's difficult for you and me to see through the reality with our cultivation. His Taoism is completely unfamiliar to us. Quote dot 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 quote. In the vast universe, the alarmed ancestors were silent for a while, puzzled. At the same time, Qi Dao had already followed the steps paved with nine colors of death and calamity. Of course he also heard the conversations of those ancestors in the universe. Now nothing can be hidden from his eyes and ears. However, Qi Dao didn't care and concentrated on coping with the disaster. Not long after, he encountered the first layer tribulation, or in other words, the first opponent. This was a person who was condensed from nine colors of death. He was wearing silver armor and looked majestic, standing in front of him. An ancient man died and became a disaster. Now he wants to stop me. Chi Dao can now understand everything in a single thought, and immediately knows the origin of the other party. In other words, this time the tribulation is different from the ordinary thunder tribulation, but a powerful figure who is the most powerful person in ancient times will kill him. Interesting. Chi Dao doesn't care, no matter what kind of disaster it is, he can suppress it with the new system. As for the other ancestors in the universe who saw this scene, they were already extremely shocked. The calamity of past, present and future, the highest manifestation of the great calamity of death. The tribulations faced by those who should be robbed are all caused by the strongest figures in history. Even if you can survive to the end, you will still face opponents from the future who will stop you. They are the most ruthless and terrifying. That's why, since ancient times, no one can survive the highest level of future calamity unscathed. The only one with a record of passing it is the founder of our Taoist system. Feng Shou, he became a Taoist a million years ago, and he has achieved the realm of the holy destiny in more than a hundred years since he started practicing Taoism. The ancient man standing in front of Qi Dao spoke expressionlessly, but in fact there was no true spirit, it was just an expression of great Dao releasing it. Qi Dao's heart remained unchanged after hearing this, no matter how many years he became enlightened, he remained the same in front of him. However, this was extremely shocking to the ears of those ancestors who were observing in secret. It turned out to be a feudal cultivator. This man was extremely powerful a million years ago and was the leader of an era. Unfortunately, he died in an immortal disaster. Feng Shou, after all, you still have friendship with my ancestor. Such a character was reappeared by the great Tao and became the supreme calamity of the past, present and future. Quote dot 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 quote. Boom, Qi Dao took action directly, crushing him with the most primitive Taoist methods. Whether it's strong or not, you won't know until you fight it. Kang, Feng Shu, who was wearing silver armor, also moved at a speed that was too fast to see clearly. But the two sides had just met, and he, who represented the old system, was beaten half of his body by Qi Dao. The battle between Taoism and Dharma can be decided in an instant. Destroy. Qi Dao opened and closed, using the Taoism of the new system to powerfully defeat the ancient calamity in front of him, simply and neatly. Then, he moved forward again, as if nothing had happened. This. This person is definitely not ordinary, there is something weird about him. That was a man who was the leader of an era millions of years ago. He couldn't even last three rounds in his hands. It's so scary, so cruel. How could such a monster be born in the Dharma ending era? Seeing this scene, those old monsters were shocked again, and they were filled with speculation. The powerful combat power that Qi Dao just exploded has already put some of the ancestors to shame, and some people have crossed the sea of stars in advance to get here. Qi Dao continues to move forward. Not only did he walk on the calamity of death, he even gave birth to a golden lotus of Taoism under his feet, using the new system to compete with the old system. Soon, the second opponent appeared, a woman with a black veil and an outstanding figure. Qi Ya, he became enlightened 900,000 years ago. He has practiced Taoism for 70 years and achieved the realm of holy destiny, touching half a step of immortality. The other party still spoke politely and revealed his identity. After hearing the half-step immortality mentioned by the other party, Qi Dao's expression finally changed. The legendary imperishable realm is high above the universe and transcends the universe. 
It is said that one can open the immortal gate and enter the ethereal immortal world to live forever and coexist with the world. Even if he is half a step closer to immortality, he is extremely stunning and has outstanding combat power. Then come on. Maybe you can provide me with some ideas and open up a new realm that can be compared to the level of immortality in the new system. Chi Dao whispered, but he was undoubtedly angering Great Dao. Boom, the woman in front of her, Chi Ya, went straight for the kill. She raised her white jade-like palm and mobilized the power of the entire sea of stars to pour in. Not only that, the power of the Great Dao's death tribulation was added to her body, making her methods even more terrifying. This palm made those ancestor-level figures panic. They had a premonition that they could not stop it at all. This was a terrifying power that was close to the half-step immortal level. Time, Chi Dao felt something in his heart, but a person exactly like him flew out from the heart palace. This is the source of all the dharma in his heart's life palace. With one palm shot, the birth and death of all dharma are subverted at this moment, and the nine-color death calamity is scattered. Boom, the whole star domain was immediately dimmed, annihilated under this palm, and turned into nothing. As for the woman in front of me, needless to say, she transformed directly. Not really. Chi Dao made a comment, and the villain in the heart palace immediately returned. This scene made those ancestors confused again. What method was this? Has any fellow Taoist seen clearly what the method is? Is it an incarnation? No, I feel like it's not an incarnation, but some kind of original power. An ancestor made a sound, but obviously he didn't see clearly what it was. That kind of Taoist origin is not something they can pry into at will. Old Dao, can't there be a few more? These people of yours are too weak. Chi Dao looked directly at the highest palace, confident and strong. As soon as he finished speaking, the thunder tribulation great Dao at his feet was furious. This time, he directly killed five ancient tribulations, each of which was close to the terrifying strength of half-step immortality. Madman, this is definitely a madman. Dare to provoke great Dao like this, what does he think it is? Wait a minute, what did he just say? He was calling the great Dao the old Dao. Old way. For a moment, the ancestor level figure was silent, and his heart was shattered. Finally, an ancestor level figure saw some clues and shocked everyone with his words. This person has a great possibility of opening up a new system of Taoism. Impossible. How can a body refining system be developed so easily? It requires countless generations of trial and error and constant correction. Not to mention, this is the end of the Dharma era. Eons ago, today's founders of Taoism pioneered Taoism in the prosperous age, and they succeeded only by following the way of heaven. Impossible, absolutely impossible. Quote dot 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 quote. In the sea of stars, those old monsters appear one by one. This is really subversive. Who dares to believe it? While they were discussing, Chi Dao fought his way to the highest level of the ninth layer palace and stood on it. After waiting for a long time, six hazy figures appeared with special powers. Chi Dao noticed the clue after just one glance. These six people actually practiced their own new system of methods. From the future, five words appeared in Chi Dao's mind, and he suddenly understood. Chi Dao was not surprised but laughed, and his voice shook the universe. Coming from the future, well done. This shows that the new system has really come into being and will appear in the further future. It's just that you want to rob and kill me in the future, it's simply ridiculous. Chi Dao continued to sneer. Boom, without further words, the terrifying war broke out directly. Chi Dao fought the six future tribulations alone, and every move he made was the collision of the new system of Dao and Dharma. Whoever learns from me will live, and whoever resembles me will die. Fate Palace, Ling Tai. Chi Dao used his divine ability to make the five life palaces and the little man sitting cross-legged on the spiritual platform come out and attack the six people in front of him. He observed for a moment and found that the six people who represented the future calamity all used new methods, and the methods were terrifying. This made Chi Dao realize that he successfully created a new system, but he lacked the scriptures and divine ability corresponding to the new system. Nowadays, what he uses are all the most original Taoist methods, without any processing. Well done. Chi Dao understood and knew what he should do next. After he was completely useless, his five major life palaces and the spiritual platform were used to kill the future calamity in front of him. 
how can the calamity from the future be compared with him, the founder? After cutting off the six future tribulation bodies, the nine-color death tribulation has been successfully passed, and there is no need to worry about any hidden dangers. At the same time, Chi Dao realized himself and found that every state had reached the point of great completion, completely flawless. Without your baptism of the old way, I really wouldn't be able to reach this level of perfection. Thanks. Chi Dao looked at the rapidly fading nine-color death tribulation path and was teasing the old path. Suddenly, the great Tao stirred deep in the sky, as if it was angry. However, in the end, the nine-color death disaster subsided, and the visions in the sky also disappeared. Chi Dao is convinced that he has now made the great accomplishment of the new system, and he is not afraid of the obstruction of the old way. He can take over all the cause and effect alone. The headmaster and master treat me well. I must let them practice the new system first. Qi Dao's first idea was to return to the Qingxu sect and pass down the Taoism. Now there is nothing more important than this. Qing Shuzong didn't say a word when he first started, and devoted all his efforts to cultivate him. He will never forget such a great kindness. Now that Taoism is great accomplishment, he must first let the people he cares about embark on a new system of practice, without fear of the oppression of the age of the end of the Dharma. Fellow Taoist please stop. I have a question for you, old man. Just when Qi Dao was about to leave, the voice of an ancestor came from an unknown number of star domains away. When Qi Dao turned around, his eyes ignored the space and reached him, which made the ancestor tremble all over. What's up? Qi Dao is very cold. Now he has no fear of these so-called ancestors. If anyone comes to attack, he can defeat them with one force. It's actually not a big deal. May I ask if fellow Taoist practices a Taoism system that is completely different from ours? The ancestor asked implicitly for verification. At the same time, his heart was pounding. The look in the young man's eyes was really terrifying. Yes, Qi Dao has no scruples and is not afraid to speak out. After saying that, he turned into a ray of divine light and disappeared into the Qingxu sect, no longer paying attention to the voices of the ancestors outside the sky. And when his affirmative response shocked the entire universe, the ancestors in the dark went crazy. It's a different Taoist system, he admitted it, it's the new body refining system. Could it be said that the calamity he has just overcome is the calamity of the new system great accomplishment? As long as the transcending tribulation is successful, the new system will be complete. For a time, various speculations were passed among every ancestor, and they were all excited. Quick! set off now to the other side of the universe. I want to visit you and ask for help. Ha ha, you old ghost is really the fastest runner. If you pass by empty-handed, can the founder of the new system pay attention to you? Don't talk nonsense. It's not certain whether he is the founder of the new system. Let me go and take a look for you. One of the ancestors said, but his body was very honest. He was the first to use divine ability and rushed on, making the other ancestors smoke with anger. It's so deceptive, I almost fell for it. Almost all the ancestors who heard the news took action. No one knew better than them what a new system meant. And Qi Dao's success in transcending tribulation means that it can ignore the suppression of the age of ending law and keep them safe. In this age of Dharma ending, nothing is more important than this. Quick, take holy medicine, let's go to the other side of the universe. Ancestor, do you really want to do this? Holy medicine can preserve our origins, and now it is a priceless treasure. Do you really want to give it away? Stop talking nonsense and get ready. Remember to pay homage to your elders when you arrive, don't neglect it. Quote dot 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 quote. The same scene was played out in almost every other worldly dojo. These ancestors personally took their people and generous gifts from their clans and set off across the sea of stars. The moment they learned that there was a different Taoist system, they couldn't sit still. Of course, not everyone thinks this way. Secretly, there is an ancestor who has murderous intentions and wants to sneak attack and kill the Qingxu sect on the other side of the universe. Dot dot dot, Qi Dao returned to the Qingxu sect, and the aura on his body was already completely different. Even if he restrained all his energy and made himself look like an ordinary person, he would still make the headmaster and elders tremble with fear. Disciple Qi Dao, meet the headmaster and elders. This disciple has lived up to expectations this time, 
and has successfully established the new system, and has reached the highest level of cultivation, which can be compared with the old monsters at the holy life level. Qi Dao still paid great courtesy to the leader and them, and did not get carried away because of the sudden increase in strength. To him, the headmaster and the elders will always be his elders. No, 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 who are you now, how can you salute us? The headmaster suddenly panicked and grabbed Qi Dao. But Qi Dao insisted on it. To the disciples, the master and the elders will always be the disciples, elders. As the saying goes, once you are a teacher, you will always be a father. Your great kindness and kindness will be unforgettable by my disciples. I also ask the master and the elders to treat me as before. Qi Dao said quickly. This moved the headmaster and the elders so much that their eyes turned red. Okay, okay, you are worthy of being a disciple of my Qingxu sect. No, from now on, you should be the headmaster of my Qingxu sect. Whether it is your current strength or your talent that has astonished both ancient and modern times, you are absolutely qualified to be the headmaster of our Qingxu sect. Unless you now look down upon the position of head of this small Qingxu sect. The headmaster patted Qi Dao on the shoulder and said very kindly. Later, Qingxu, not allowing Qi Dao to refuse, insisted on passing the leader's seal to him. How dare the disciples dislike the Qingxu sect? It's just, this is too sudden. Looking at the leader's seal in his hand, Qi Dao felt a little at a loss. The next moment, both headmaster Qingxu and his master Yu Xuanzi and other elders all knelt down. Meet the headmaster, elders, get up quickly, this is impossible. Qi Dao didn't know whether to laugh or cry, and helped them up one by one. There's nothing you can't do, just get used to it. Now you are the leader of my Qingxu sect, no need to say more. It's better for you Xuanzi to just do it, and he doesn't think it's inappropriate at all. Hearing what his master said, Qi Dao could only bite the bullet and accept it. Of course, he also told Qingxu and others in advance that he would never accept a disciple. He only wanted to focus on creating laws and questions, and Qingxu would still handle all major and minor matters. No problem, Qingxu showed a bright smile. Now he has taken a back seat and become one of the supreme elders. Now that Qi Dao is here, everyone's hearts are completely at peace. However, while everyone was joking, Qi Dao was keenly aware that someone was spying in the distance. In a flash of thought, he grabbed the person from the air and found that it was Zan Ming, the supreme elder of Ba Tian sect. No, why, how could it be you? Zan Ming was immediately frightened and couldn't escape even if he wanted to. He felt like he was facing a supreme figure. How could you possibly accomplish this in such a short period of time? In the age of Dharma ending, no one should be able to improve their cultivation. Zan Ming was held in Qi Dao's hand and trembled in disbelief. Now he has no resistance at all under Qi Dao's eyes, and he has a sense of danger that he will explode and die at any time. This has nothing to do with you. You have tested our Qingxu sect over and over again. In this case, I will let you know clearly now the reality of our Qingxu sect. Qi Dao snorted coldly. After that, he glared, and the Zan Ming in his hand was directly penetrated by a gaze between his eyebrows. The primordial spirit cracked and his soul was scattered. And this is just the beginning, Qi Dao decided to eliminate external threats first, and then spread the Taoism to the entire Qingxu sect. Beside, Qingxu, Yu Xuanzi and others watched with excitement, feeling the pleasure of having avenged a great revenge. In the three months since the end of the Dharma era, their pressure has been increasing day by day, mainly from the tyrant sect. Now that Qi Dao has successfully developed a new system, we no longer need to worry about it. Headmaster, just kill the main tyrant sect and Wansheng sect, don't hurt innocent people. Seeing Qi Dao about to take action, Qingxu said. Qi Dao nodded gloomily, naturally he would not be as kind as Qingxu said. This time, he will kill all those who are hostile to the Qingxu sect to avoid future troubles. The five fate palaces and spiritual platforms will walk the world on my behalf and eliminate all enemies. Qi Dao presses the seal with both hands without having to use his real body. The next moment, the Taoism on Qingxu Mountain fluctuated, and six terrifying figures rushed out of Qi Dao's body, killing in different directions. Boom! The six origins representing the extreme realm took action, directly triggering a great riot in the laws of heaven and earth. Wherever they passed, the void was shattered, 
and countless laws of heaven and earth stepped under their feet, becoming a foreshadowing. When these mini Chi Dao flew across the sky, the visions they carried shocked countless creatures in the central territory. Oh my God, is this saint traveling? Such a terrifying power, where is he going? It seems that it was the supreme being from transcending tribulation not long ago. He took action. Who is he targeting? Shish, look in this direction. I'm afraid it's Batian sect. It is indeed the tyrant sect. It has been plotting to clear up the Shu sect for a long time, and now it is being repaid. Quote dot 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 quote. I don't know how many creatures are cheering, because many sects and sects in the central region have been slaughtered by the tyrant sect, just to preserve their cultivation. Therefore, countless people in the central region have lost their masters and hate the tyrant sect to the core. Now that Qi Dao has taken action, naturally he has received a great response. Some people even cried bitterly and knelt down to beg Qi Dao to crush the tyrant sect to ashes. On this day, the tyrant sect is destined to be exterminated and removed from the clan. Headmaster, where are you? There is a terrifying existence targeting us. Where is the leader? Where are the elders? When Qi Dao from the Heart Palace killed Ba Tian sect, the entire Ba Tian sect had already turned into a mess. It turned out that the headmaster and elders of the tyrant sect had already run away when they heard the news. Zan Ming, who went to inquire before, was also sold directly, just to delay the escape. Ran, Chi Dao looked at the fleeing tyrant sect disciples below, and his face turned cold after learning about this. Before these people could ask for mercy, he struck down a palm and raised the entire tyrant sect to the ground, killing thousands of disciples. He is not as kind as headmaster Qingxu. If anyone dares to target Qingxu sect, he will not mind expelling them from now on. Do you really think you can run away? The true body is the great accomplishment. I understand cause and effect. I can travel hundreds of millions of miles with just one thought. Who can escape? Qi Dao from the Heart Palace snorted coldly. He did not pursue, but returned to his true body. Ran, the action is really fast. Qi Dao narrowed his eyes and was not worried. The next moment, he stood on the top of Qingxu Mountain and cast Law Manifestation. His eyes, which were bigger than the stars, looked down at the world from the sky. Billions of living beings were terrified, kneeling on the ground and worshipping. Supreme Being, please allow me to make a pilgrimage. This is a real big shot who can cover the sky with just a snap of his fingers. Let me meet you. Quote dot 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 quote. Countless creatures looked at the pupils that covered the entire sky, their legs became weak, and they knelt three times and kowtowed nine times. Even those at the leader level are no exception. In their entire lives, have they ever seen such a creature's methods? Everyone began to worship and worship. Qi Dao ignored these people. His huge and oppressive gaze swept across the entire central territory. Nothing could block his sight, and all the fog would be seen through. This is the terrifying thing about the realm of Tongtian, already transcending above and looking down at the human world. Soon, Qi Dao discovered Ji Yu Yu, the headmaster of the tyrant sect who had fled all the way. Soon, the remaining elders of the tyrant sect were found and locked one by one. It's a pity that although they are very fast, they still can't escape Qi Dao's gaze. Everyone is destroyed. Qi Dao was too lazy to take action directly, so he recited the mantra, and used other terrible means through the heaven level to keep his words true. Soon, the laws in his body moved, locking on the fleeing tyrant sect leader and others from a distance of hundreds of thousands of miles. At this moment, the sky shook, and the power of the sky overwhelmed the world, like a god lord lording over the world. Ah, it's you, brat, if I had known that you could improve your cultivation in this age of dharma, I should have eliminated any future troubles. Otherwise, how could I get angry? Before he died, Dao Ming was still cursing, full of despair and unwillingness, and he really regretted it. Puff, beside him, the body of the elder who was fleeing with him exploded inexplicably, and he died on the spot. Under the terrifying methods of the Tongtian realm, they are as insignificant as ants and can be wiped out with one finger. Poof, as soon as Dao Ming finished cursing, his body exploded, and the primordial spirit exploded. However, Qi Dao did not kill him immediately, but intercepted his remaining spirit and held it in his hands. Since you are not willing to give in, then stay here and light the lamp for my Qingxu sect for thousands of years. Qi Dao is cold and ruthless. Soon, 
Dao Ming's remnant spirit knew what Qi Dao meant by lighting the lamp. Qi Dao used the Great Dao Real Fire to ignite it, and used the residual spirit as the burning candle thread, and placed it in an oil lamp to burn. Ah, feeling the severe pain, Dao Ming soon let out a miserable cry. This feeling of burning remaining souls makes him worse than death, but the Great Dao Real Fire will not completely obliterate him immediately, it will only burn him away bit by bit. This is thousands of times more painful than going to hell and being cut into pieces by a thousand cuts. What Qi Dao said about lighting the lamps for millions of years is definitely not a lie. Not long after, the leader of the tyrant sect, including the elders and disciples, were all killed by Qi Dao in a single thought. Even, Qi Dao uses cause and effect, as long as someone has evil thoughts towards Qingxu sect, he will directly sense it, and he can obliterate them no matter how far away they are. After all the enemies were eliminated, Qi Dao no longer had any worries. Boom, Qi Dao stopped his hand, and the sky returned to clarity in an instant. Even so, there are still countless creatures kneeling in the direction of Qingxu sect. Everyone knows that there are terrifying creatures in Qingxu sect now, which is comparable to otherworldly dojos. Brother, Yu Qing arrived, but he was hesitant in his heart and looked at Qi Dao haggardly from a distance. During this period of time, she had already known that Qi Dao was developing a new system and had experienced death and narrow escape, but she had endured it without disturbing him. She didn't come until Qi Dao was finally able to protect the entire Qingxu mountain. But she was soon told that the saint child whom she knew well had become the headmaster of the Qingxu sect and was no longer a little saint child. A sense of distance arose from the bottom of her heart. What are you saying, little girl? It's not polite to call me headmaster. Yu Xuanzi lectured, looking at his daughter with hatred. But Qi Dao's heart moved, and the familiar feeling came back. He raised his hand and signaled to his master that it was nothing serious. Junior sister will always be my junior sister. This will not change, and no one will change. You call me headmaster, but I'm not used to it. Qi Dao smiled and took the initiative to greet him. Hearing this, Yu Qing finally couldn't help it anymore sobbed into Qi Dao's arms, hugging him tightly and unwilling to let go. Senior brother, I miss you so much, I really miss you. But I'm afraid that my realm has fallen and I am just a mortal without any cultivation. I will soon grow old and become ugly. I'm afraid you won't want to see me then. Yu Qing choked up. This made Qi Dao even more distressed and sour. No, I will change everything. Now I have the ability. You will never grow old, and neither will any of my brothers and sisters. I want to spend time with you. Qi Dao said every word with great determination. But Yu Qing shook her head in his arms, purring like a docile kitten. I don't want you to take any more risks, senior brother, this is enough. That's enough, really, silly girl. Qi Dao's heart felt warm, and then he held up her pretty face that was somewhat haggard, and combed her temples. Who said I would take risks this time? Now that I have this ability, I can change the entire environment of Qingxu Mountain. I want to make this place a pure land that cannot be invaded by the Dharma. Don't you want to live forever with me? Qi Dao said slowly. When he came out of seclusion before, he paid attention and found that if his divine spring could cover the entire Qingxu Mountain and baptize it, it could change the environment of Qingxu Mountain and block the erosion of the great Dao of heaven and earth. I think. Yu Qing was like a little cat at this time, smiling for the first time in a long time. Then we will start from here to evolve the pure land and sacred land for practice. The new system will take root from here, and I will live forever with you. Qi Dao said, the aura on his body became more and more transcendent and refined. The next moment, Yu Qing next to her found that there seemed to be a sea of divine power condensed in her senior brother's body, and an overwhelming sea surged out, and the vision once again enveloped the sky. At this time, all the elders and disciples on Qingxu Mountain were aware of this power. This is a new force that makes the blood in their bodies boil and resonate with it. It's senior brother, he's using his divine ability. Just, what is this? Soon, some disciples made sounds of surprise. Qi Dao remained silent, like a river bursting its embankment, releasing the vast divine spring inside Dantian and then poured into Qingxu Mountain. Soon, a golden lake formed by the divine spring appeared. At the same time, on Qingxu Mountain, streams of all sizes also appeared, and they were all flowing from the divine spring in Qi Dao Dantian. 
When these sacred springs were opened up in Qingshu Mountain and flowed around them, they directly gave Qingshu Mountain a whole new life. Whether it is the old headmaster Qingshu, the supreme elder, or the disciples who are still alive and have turned into mortals, at this moment they all feel that they can practice cultivation again. Oh my god, how is this going? I feel that my exhausted muscles and veins have been nourished, and my flesh and blood have become stronger. The era of the Dharma end has been changed. Some disciples exclaimed that it was hard to believe that this was true. And soon, someone corrected him. Wrong, it's not that the Dharma ending age has been changed, but that our entire Qingshu mountain has been greatly changed from the inside out. It's still the Dharma ending age outside, but inside we seem to have blocked the erosion of the great Tao of heaven and earth, and we can practice. Quote dot 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 quote. This feeling is felt very clearly in everyone's body on Qingshu Mountain, especially Yu Qing who is beside Qi Dao. She was shocked to find that her depleted muscles and veins were revived, and a thin force appeared in her dantian. It was a divine spring. Brother, I seem to be able to practice. Yu Qing's voice trembled, and she was so excited that tears rolled down her cheeks. I said, I will live with you forever. Even if the world is turned upside down and the great Tao becomes extinct, I will still go against heaven and create a suitable environment. Qi Dao said gently. Of course, he felt that this was not enough. If the divine spring was flowing in Qingshu Mountain, it would soon be exhausted. After that, it would still not be able to stop the suppression of the great Tao of heaven and earth. The five elements Ming Palace comes out. Not locking spirit formation. Qi Dao once again used his divine ability, this time directly using the Taoism in his body. Boom! Five mini Qi Dao emitting different lights rushed out directly from the Life Palace, and then stood at the five directions of Qingshu Mountain to form spells together. So, what a lovely senior brother, all five of them are you. When Yu Qing saw this scene, her smile suddenly looked like a blooming flower, bright and beautiful. Silly girl, Qi Dao didn't know whether to laugh or cry when he heard this. Soon, the Taoism of the Five Elements Palace of Life enveloped the entire Qingshu Mountain. Each mini Qi Dao continued to recite the scriptures and lock the entire Qingshu Mountain with the Great Dao of the physical body to prevent the sacred spring from being eroded by the Great Dao of heaven and earth. In addition, Qi Dao also specially deployed a sky-reaching formation above Qingshu Mountain to protect Qingshu Mountain from external interference. At the moment of success, Qingshu Mountain became a truly out-of-this-world place. When everything was completed, the spiritual energy that had been lost on Qingshu Mountain was restored, and the spiritual grass that had been exhausted and dying recovered one by one and regained its vitality. The most important thing is that it is not suppressed and interfered by the big world, and is protected by Qi Dao's new system. Just staying here for a while is enough to change your physique, and then be baptized by the Taoism of the new system. Really did it. I have single-handedly changed Qingshu Mountain and turned Qingshu Mountain into a pure land without being disturbed by the world. We don't have to worry about our realm falling. This is another great miracle brought to us by Qi Dao. Qingshu, Yu Xuanzi and other elders burst into tears on the spot when they sensed it. They have never felt this kind of breath again since the end of the Dharma era. In one day, drastic changes occurred in Qingshu Mountain. Wherever the divine spring flows, all things are revived and spiritual energy reappears. Even the weeds show signs of spirit communication. This is completely different from the scene outside. Even right at the foot of the mountain, the huge contrast can be seen at a glance. Within the scope of Qingshu Mountain, the spiritual energy curls up and is so dense that it appears in the form of mist. The entire Qingshu Mountain is like a fairyland on earth, ethereal and high. But outside the mountain gate, there are overgrown with withered grass and a gloomy atmosphere. There are pitifully few heavenly materials and earthly treasures that still contain spiritual energy. They are all constantly being deprived of their spirituality under the suppression of the Dharma ending age. A thin line makes a world of difference. Ha ha ha. Aura, I feel the aura again, it's such a familiar breath. Isn't this too strong? It's much stronger than before the end of the Dharma era. I feel like I'm going to a mortal transformation after taking one sip. I am now going to start walking on the path of spiritual practice again. This is all thanks to the headmaster brother. His talents are unparalleled from the past to the present. He can create a new system and change the world, making Qingshu Mountain the only one in the world. Thank you, Master Master. 
Quote dot 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 quote. On this day, more than 300 disciples up and down Qingshu Mountain were extremely excited. They were bathed in abundant spiritual energy and had hope again. Needless to say, the group of elders were laughing from ear to ear the whole day. At this time, Qi Dao appeared. He was going to pass on his new system and let everyone in the Qingshu sect practice it first. Only then can they truly face the end of the Dharma era alone. Elders and disciples, listen to me first. Although the environment in Qingshu Mountain has been improved, the environment in the world is irreversible. I can only protect my sect. If you want to truly stand up in the age of Dharma ending and explore immortality again, you can no longer practice the old system. Qi Dao summoned all the elders and disciples and said. Since the environment in Qingshu Mountain changed that day, he found that some disciples could not wait to start absorbing spiritual energy and practice. In any case, the old system is no longer working and it is only a matter of time before it is replaced. What Brother Headmaster said is that Elder Qingshu has already told us that we are all waiting for your new system. We have despaired of the old system, which has led to our continuous decline in cultivation. Even the elders are no exception and are no longer suitable for cultivation. Please also ask senior brother to give me the Taoist teachings. The disciples shouted that this matter was not considered a secret in the Qingshu sect. Seeing that they are so aware, Qi Dao will naturally not be stingy. His original idea of creating a new system was to allow himself and the elders and brothers of the Qingshu sect to not be suppressed by the Dharma ending age and still be able to practice. Good. The time has come, and the new Taoism system will be passed down from our Qingshu sect. Qi Dao showed a smile and said. Now he can inherit the cause and effect of the Taoism passed down by himself without having to worry about anyone being struck by lightning after practicing the new system. He will bear all the causes and consequences and disasters. Headmaster, what should we do in this situation? The old system is deeply ingrained in our bodies, and it seems that the only way is to cut off all cultivation bases. An inner sect elder said. Although his cultivation level dropped, it was not too serious. Now that the new system has been handed down, he is directly caught in a conflict. What should he do? This is naturally the same doubt in the minds of other elders, who want to retain their current cultivation and get in touch with the new system. Soon, Qi Dao gave the answer. If you give up, you will gain. How can you cultivate a new system without completely cutting off the old system? If you elders have concerns, I will not force you. It will not be too late to come to me after you have considered it carefully. Quote dot 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 quote. The elders looked at each other, filled with doubts for a moment. The main thing is that it takes too much courage to directly cut off one's cultivation. No one can guarantee whether one can truly practice again. Once you become immortal, you need to accept various emergencies that may arise. And just when these elders were hesitating, Yu Xuanzi and the others, led by the old headmaster Qingshu, cut off all the cultivation in their bodies without saying a word. You know, their cultivation levels can still be maintained at the quasi-heaven level, but now they have cleanly and decisively cut off all their cultivation levels and turned into mortals. I believe in my disciples, don't give up on any bullshit old system. Yu Xuanzi said simply that he was the quickest to take action and had no nostalgia for the old system. Of course, the most important thing is the extreme trust in Qi Dao. As long as the new system can be established, one can already ignore the suppression of heaven and earth in the age of Dharma ending. I also believe in Qi Dao, Qing Shu also expresses his position here. What do you elders think? Don't force me. At this time, Qing Shu also cut off his cultivation base neatly and said. This made the inner sect elders dumbfounded. Are the two supreme elders so decisive? Not to mention that Qingshu has a master level cultivation. He was the leader of a sect before, but now he still decisively abandons his original cultivation and wants to cultivate a new system. This naturally shook the minds of most of the elders, and they began to eagerly prepare to give themselves a knife to cut off their cultivation. I'm coming too. I have supported the new system without hesitation since the beginning of the new system. I want to be one of the people at the forefront of the new system. The worst case scenario is failure, and you will lose your life. Cheng Kang was also very straightforward, laughing and cutting off all his cultivation. Then, the other three supreme elders also took action. From the beginning, they were the most supportive of Qi Dao's new system, and they did not hesitate to spend all their knowledge. 
Now, they have also chosen to believe in Qi Dao and are willing to step into the new system. Seeing this scene, the other elders couldn't bear it anymore. Even the supreme elders were very straightforward. What else could they say? Believe in the master, I will kill you first to show respect. And I, quote dot 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 quote. For a time, all the elders on Qingxu Mountain were sharpening their swords, and they were all attacking the roots of their old system. Hearing the ambitious words of the elders, Qi Dao suddenly felt dumbfounded, as if a group of people were rushing to the battlefield. He wanted to say that there was really no need to worry. Not long after, a group of mortals appeared on Qingxu Mountain. With their majestic appearance, they all sat cross-legged on the ground and listened quietly to the new system of Taoism passed down by Qi Dao. The new body refining system currently opens up seven realms, blood refining, soul nourishing, casting, life palace, divine spring, spiritual platform, and heaven reaching realms. Everyone, please remember that the blood refining realm is the foundation of everything. Only with strong flesh and blood can you go further in the subsequent realms. At the same time, when practicing, don't have distracting thoughts, and remember that you are the only one and everything is empty. Qi Dao began to preach seriously. Then, he passed down the fundamental method of the physical body, which is the strongest practice method in the blood refining realm, allowing everyone to open up the limits of their physical body as quickly as possible. The body is the root of everything. All things are born, but the flesh and blood of living beings remain unchanged, which is the ultimate expression of the great Tao. Only by seeking the way of flesh and blood within can we ignore the great Tao of heaven and earth, the oppression of the age of ending Dharma. Even if all things wither and the great Tao decay, you can still remain immortal. Qi Dao taught everyone how to practice the fundamental method of the physical body, and at the same time revealed the origin of flesh and blood as the way. When he saw those elders and disciples sitting cross-legged in front of him with focused faces, Qi Dao was in a trance for a moment. He still remembered that when he first went up the mountain to practice, this was how he listened to the master's teachings. As a result, more than ten years later, he was preaching from above, and all the elders and disciples were listening to the teachings below. Thinking of this, Qi Dao couldn't help but smile in his heart. Soon, he gathered his mind again and concentrated on teaching the fundamental method of flesh and blood. A day has passed since this preaching, and the elders and disciples are still in high spirits and not feeling tired at all. Blood refining realm requires flesh refining. Only by constantly breaking through the limits of flesh and blood can we lay the solid foundation. Finally, Qi Dao said one sentence to let all the elders and all the disciples understand. Without further reminder, they took action immediately, each relying on the fundamental method of the physical body to start hammering the flesh refining body. Soon, Qi Dao saw his master holding a stone weighing a thousand kilograms with both hands and standing under the waterfall, mumbling something. Elder Qingxu also found thousands of precious stones and tied them to his limbs to continuously increase the limit of his physical power. As for the other elders and disciples, it goes without saying that they devoted themselves wholeheartedly to practice. On that day, Qi Dao felt the faint blood energy shrouded in Qingxu Mountain, which could even be seen outside the mountain gate. If this continues, the sky above Qingxu Mountain will soon be enveloped by a cloud of blood. Qi Dao was quite surprised as he did not expect such a vision to happen. Next, he walked inside the Qingxu sect, sometimes correcting the fundamental method of the physical body, and sometimes awakening the other party to avoid going crazy. In just three days, Qingxu sect was full of vitality, like the sun rising in the morning. And in the sky above Qingxu Mountain, just as Qi Dao expected, an extremely eye-catching cloud of blood appeared. Ha ha ha, my flesh and blood strength has exceeded 2,000 kilograms. I also made a breakthrough. I can shatter a thousand kilogram stone with one shake with one hand. You are all too weak. I have already broken through 3,000 kilograms of flesh and blood. Quote dot 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 quote. In just a few days, Qingxu Mountain was full of joy and laughter, and everyone made great gains. After all, they have been exposed to the old system and practiced it before, so they have a certain foundation of body refining. Now that I practice the fundamental method of the physical body, I am naturally very comfortable. As for the elders, it goes without saying that, headed by Elder Qingxu, he has taken the lead in breaking through the limit of 10,000 kilograms of flesh and blood. 
Ha ha ha. I didn't expect that this old guy like me could break through the strength of 8,000 kilograms of flesh and blood at my age. Come on, come on, let's give it a try. Ha ha, you lost. Yu Xuanzi is the one who cares most about his image among the elders. He seems to have completely forgotten that he is a supreme elder. When Qi Dao came over, the smile on his face became even stronger. Disciple, your physical body fundamental method is really easy to use. It is a natural body refining method. The limit of my flesh and blood has exceeded 8,000 kilograms. Yu Xuanzi patted Qi Dao on the shoulder and said proudly, privately the two of them still treated each other as master and disciple. However, Qi Dao just glanced at it and smiled awkwardly. Master, you are a little off track. This is not a pure body refining method. You need to constantly break through the limits of flesh and blood, rather than blindly pursuing power. Qi Dao promptly corrected him. Ah, is that so? Yu Xuanzi was immediately embarrassed, but was laughed at by a group of old friends, and his face turned red. Later, he practiced as Qi Dao said, and found that he was too blindly pursuing power and neglected to tap the potential of flesh and blood. At this time, Qi Dao had quietly come behind Yu Qing, who was concentrating on practicing. In order to be able to practice and pursue the realm of immortality, Yu Qing is extremely serious and is completely different from before. It wasn't until a long time later that Yu Qing suddenly realized that there was someone behind her. Brother, I am practicing seriously. Now my flesh and blood strength has exceeded 5,000 kilograms. If you don't believe it, look at it. Yu Qing ran over excitedly, like a warrior claiming credit, and crushed a 5,000 kilogram stone in front of Qi Dao. After she succeeded, she smiled so brightly that the light seemed to overshadow the sun in the sky. Very good, but you don't have to rush it. There's still a long time, so don't be too hard on yourself. Chi Dao looked at her frayed jade hands and said with some distress. This was a little different from the junior sisters he knew before. I know, but, I want to catch up with you as soon as possible. I don't want to stand behind you forever, only looking at your back from a distance. Yu Qing muttered, Qi Dao was touched, the junior sister was still the same junior sister as before, but she cared more about herself. Next, Qi Dao once again used his divine ability to nourish the entire Qingshu Mountain with his own Taoism, making the environment of Qingshu Mountain more suitable for the practice of the new system. Under Qi Dao's methods, the aura of Qingshu Mountain became twice as strong that day. And where the divine spring flows, a lotus actually grows in the lake formed by the divine spring. Saint, saint level quality medicine. Really or not, am I right? It's really saint level quality medicine. Ha ha ha, our Qingshu sect has actually given birth to holy medicine. This kind of rare medicine can only exist in those otherworldly dojos. It's amazing to have one. A holy medicine, even taking one leaf can preserve the origin for a period of time in the age of ending Dharma. When they saw this holy lotus, Qingshu, Yu Xuanzi and others laughed from ear to ear, with tears in their eyes. After all, even when the Qingshu sect was founded, there was no saint-level great medicine. But now, a sacred lotus grows on Qingshu Mountain. The very next day, the holy lotus bloomed directly, releasing a fragrant fragrance that could further enlighten people and improve their cultivation. Many elders and disciples have already improved the level of flesh and blood just by absorbing the fragrance emitted by the holy lotus, and can further tap the potential of flesh and blood. This makes the environment of Qingshu Mountain more suitable for practice. As this holy medicine, I've never seen it before, and it actually grew on its own. Qi Dao also came, looking at the holy lotus in a daze, he could feel the rich power contained in it. And just one day later, the elders and disciples were surprised to find that another holy medicine had grown, which was a mutation of a sword star grass. Under the joint support of the two holy medicine plants, a large number of natural and earthly treasures were born on Qingshu Mountain. They were so full of vitality that they even began to affect the environment outside Qingshu Mountain. Another holy medicine. This level of holy medicine requires the nurturing of the great Tao of heaven and earth, plus a rich aura environment to grow into a single plant. Not to mention its growth cycle, it would take a thousand years to grow into a single plant before the end of the Dharma age. But, it seems to have grown directly here, and it has blossomed and bore fruit. Once it grows up, it represents an origin of heaven and earth, 
the most essence of the original power, and can also embody the laws of heaven and earth. Normally we don't even see one, but now two holy medicine plants have grown on Qingshu Mountain. Quote dot 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 quote. Seeing the second holy medicine plant growing, Qingshu was stunned for a moment, and then said excitedly. The holy lotus is blooming, and the holy light rushes into the sky, shining like a great lotus. As for the holy medicine transformed from the sword star grass, it is like a peerless sharp blade that stops the sky. Even people who have never learned swordsmanship can understand the true meaning of sword Tao emanating from it. This is the benefit of holy medicine. At this time, Qingshu and several old friends excitedly surrounded the two holy medicine plants, carefully observing them, and they were filled with surprise. The fact that two holy medicine plants can be born in one mountain and grow together is enough to show that the current environment of Qingshu Mountain is as good as fairy land. Ha ha ha! In the age of Dharma ending, everything outside is drying up, but we at Qingshu Mountain are doing the opposite. Now not only are they not suppressed by heaven and earth, but two strains of holy medicine have also been born. Looking at those high and outer world monasteries, who can have two holy medicine plants? Yu Xuanzi laughed, unable to close his mouth at all. He was convinced that he and the entire Qingshu sect had made the right bet. Without full support for Qi Dao, everyone's current situation may have fallen to an appalling level. Who says it's not? This is all thanks to Qi Dao. He changed the entire pattern of Qingshu Mountain, isolated the outside world with his physical body, and created such a good environment. Leave aside the two holy medicines for the moment, there are countless other low-level quality medicines. Elder Ching Kang said while stroking the tears from the corners of his eyes. Yes, it's really thanks to our head teacher. Quote dot 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 quote. All the elders and disciples were very excited and practiced harder and harder. After all, this environment has been greatly changed and has become more suitable for the new system of cultivation. It would be a waste of time if we waste time here. Soon, Qi Dao also came to observe two holy medicine plants. He was convinced that these two holy medicine strains were nurtured by his own Taoism. In these two holy medicines, he can feel the power of the new system of Taoism. You are able to breed two holy medicine strains. Brother Master, your method is so powerful. Yes, the world outside is drying up, only our place is getting more and more extraordinary. Brother Headmaster is our savior. Quote dot 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 quote. Many inner disciples came, led by Xiao Long. He was extremely excited and rubbed his hands uneasily in front of Qi Dao. Qi Dao smiled and patted his junior brother on the shoulder. The main purpose is to create an environment suitable for your practice and speed up your practice. As for holy medicine, it grew completely on its own, so it's not a trick. Well, you can practice near holy medicine, and continue to baptize flesh, blood and root bone with the power of holy medicine. You can practice faster. After Qi Dao finished speaking, more exclamations arose. Brother Headmaster, holy medicine was born without even doing it on purpose. This is so awesome, he deserves to be our head teacher who can develop a new system. With the master brother here, why should our Qingshu sect be unhappy? Even if the age of ending Dharma envelopes the world, our Qingshu sect can still be independent from the mortal world. Ha ha ha, by then I will probably be jealous of the people outside. Quote dot 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 quote. A group of fellow apprentices admired Qi Dao from the bottom of their hearts and even worshipped Qi Dao as their savior. Next, they practiced practice near holy medicine as Qi Dao said, and it was indeed of great benefit. At the same time, Qi Dao was not idle either. The villain from the five life palaces walked out, representing the ultimate state of the five elements Taoism. On that day, five Qi Dao sat cross-legged on the top of the mountain and preached, which were the original Taoism of the new system. Qi Dao chose some of the most basic Taoist methods and conveyed them throughout Qingshu Mountain with the sound of scriptures, and unknowingly changed the root bone and physique of all the elders and disciples. And the next day, something unexpected happened to Qi Dao and all the elders and disciples. Another holy medicine strain is born. This is a small-looking spirit root with its first red leaves. But that's it, it is already at the level of holy medicine. When it was born, the holy light surged into the sky, causing auspicious rain to fall from the depths of the sky, blessing the entire Qingshu mountain. Oh my god, what kind of holy medicine is this? Why does it look like this? Another holy medicine is born. 
This vision is so amazing. I'm going crazy. Is this really our Qingshu Mountain? I'm not in a fairyland. Brother Headmaster is really awesome. Quote dot 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 quote. The elders and disciples were all moved and shocked, and came to check. This time, even Qi Dao was no exception. He was the first to arrive to observe the birth of holy medicine. When Qingshu and his people arrived, even with their extensive knowledge, they couldn't tell what kind of holy medicine it was. But the saint level rules it carries are extremely powerful and amazing. I'm afraid this is an innate spirit root, the kind with growth potential. Don't look at it. It is very small now and has only one leaf. But as time goes by, its growth will be amazing, and I'm afraid it will be able to break through saint level. Qingshu guessed after looking at it. Qi Dao did some research and found that this is indeed the case. This so-called innate spirit root is very extraordinary. When mature, it can create rules to protect a domain. But the surprising findings don't stop there. Soon, some disciples discovered that the fish in the sacred spring lake had turned into spirits, and they chanted the scriptures orally. Oh my God, the loach has become a spirit. Are you preaching to me? Not only the loach, but also the carp have become spirits, and they are actually practicing the new body refining system. There is also something in the back mountain that has become a spirit. An old turtle is full of vitality and its flesh and blood is as strong as 10,000 kilograms. I can't beat it. Quote dot 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 quote. On Qingshu Mountain, more and more creatures are becoming spirits. Those were originally just ordinary insects, fish, birds and beasts, but after the changes in the environment and Qi Dao's sermons, these once mundane things became spirit communication and became spirits. Even Qi Dao didn't expect this. How could he turn ordinary creatures into spirits just by doing it casually? At the same time, the vision caused by the birth of the third strain of holy medicine completely attracted the attention of the outside world. When someone discovered that the spiritual energy up and down the Qingshu mountain was as rich as water and was not suppressed by the great Tao of heaven and earth, the news spread out and the whole central territory went crazy. Near Qingshu mountain, is the vision caused by the birth of holy medicine. From such a distance, I seem to smell the fragrance of holy medicine, which can change the root bone and body constitution. Oh my God, what happened over there at Qingshu Mountain? Isn't this the end of the Dharma era? Why would holy medicine be born in Qingshu Mountain? Actually, some strange phenomena have already occurred two days ago, but they are just not very obvious. What? Let's go and see. If there is any chance, if we can get holy medicine, our origin can be temporarily preserved. Quote dot 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 quote. For a time, large numbers of people went to Qingshu Mountain. In the central region, at least hundreds of ethnic groups were affected. Among these hundreds of ethnic groups, there are monster race, human tribe, stone tribe. Now some people are going to Qingshu Mountain to check the situation. Mainly, the vision of the birth of holy medicine was so amazing that it was difficult not to attract attention. There seems to be a powerful figure sitting in Qingshu Mountain before, and he has shown himself as a saint. Isn't it too presumptuous for us to go like this? What are you afraid of? You won't know until you go there. That's right, we just go to have a look and don't do anything. Isn't this okay? Walk, quote dot 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 quote. On this day, Qingshu Mountain became the focus of the entire central territory, and the vision of holy medicine in the sky was still undiminished. At this time, everyone on Qingshu Mountain was still cultivating the new system, and no one was slacking off. Bathed in the radiance of the three holy medicine plants, and coupled with Qi Dao's continuous sermons from the five major life palaces, they made rapid progress. In just a few days, Elder Qingshu, the fastest cultivator, has already reached the fifth level of the blood refining realm. That is the power of 100,000 kilograms of flesh and blood. In fact, even the most ordinary outer disciples, after continuous baptism, their flesh and blood strength has exceeded 10,000. This makes Qi Dao very satisfied, everything is going on the right track, and he wants to make his sect stronger first. Brother Headmaster, it's not good. There are many people coming from the bottom of the mountain, wanting to enter the mountain. An outer disciple hurried over to report. So many people. Where did it come from? Qi Dao frowned slightly and looked at the sky, probably knowing why those people came. They seemed to be everywhere. Moreover, they saw that we had no cultivation and wanted to force their way in. The disciple in front of me said, 
This made Qi Dao's eyes suddenly turn cold. Was it because he was not intimidating enough when he appeared as a saint before, or was there someone who was really not afraid of death? Okay, you can practice on your own first. I'll take care of the other things. Qi Dao waved his hand. At the same time, at the foot of Qingshu Mountain, there were people of all races, with varying strengths. What a rich spiritual energy. Why can't I feel the oppression of heaven and earth near Qingshu Mountain? Yes, Qingshu Mountain is very suitable for practice. What's going on? Do you think they have any law treasure that can stop the erosion of heaven and earth? As soon as these words came out, the first group of people who came here all became red-eyed. In today's Dharma ending era, everyone's realm and strength are declining. But now there is such an area where they can practice cultivation without fear of the oppression of heaven and earth. How can they not be ecstatic? Soon, some people began to try mountain climbing, and they were fascinated. Stop, this is our important land in Qingshu Mountain, who dares to intrude? Qingshu appeared directly and asked everyone. At first, they were indeed shocked and recognized Qingshu's identity. But soon, someone discovered that Qingshu had no cultivation at all and was clearly an ordinary person. Taoist priest Qingshu, you have no cultivation. Isn't it a waste of resources to guard such a treasured land for nothing? It's better to give up this place and share it with all races. In this way, everyone can still appreciate your kindness. That's right, why should Master Qingshu be so selfish? Everyone is a cultivator. Quote dot 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 quote. Led by a man from the King Realm world, he was aggressive and full of dignity, and he didn't even pay attention to his innocence. Soon, his words resonated with a large number of people behind him, and they began to force their way through the mountain gate. Presumptuous, several supreme elders appeared together and blocked the entrance of the mountain. But unexpectedly, their appearance not only failed to curb these people's ideas, but actually made these people become more aggressive. These people realized that the upper and lower parts of Qingshu Mountain were now mortals and could set foot on them at will. This also led to many people getting carried away and forgetting that Qi Dao appeared not long ago and shocked the four regions. Elders, if you deliberately obstruct it, then don't blame us for being rude. You have no cultivation, and you are still guarding the treasure. Isn't that a waste? Good, holy medicine grows here, and letting you occupy it for nothing is a waste of natural resources. There are at least hundreds of people who have broken through the gate, and now they are all so excited that they can only see holy medicine. Before Ching Shu and the other supreme elders could speak, they had already started violently breaking in. But at the next moment, a supreme pressure came and enveloped the entire Ching Shu mountain. At this moment, the person who broke into the mountain gate recalled the huge pupils that covered the sky that day. The pressure was absolutely unmistakable. Anyone who breaks into our Qingshu sect will be killed without mercy. Qi Dao was extremely indifferent and spoke calmly. The next second, hundreds of people who stepped into the mountain gate were instantly wiped out in ashes, dying at the thought of the Supreme One. From beginning to end, this process was very quiet, because those who had not set foot at the mountain gate were enveloped by the unparalleled pressure, lying on the ground shivering, unable to raise their heads. It was not until those hundreds of people were wiped out that the people outside finally breathed a sigh of relief, but they no longer dare to underestimate the Qingshu sect. Let me just say that Qingshu sect has a supreme existence. Even if all the Qingshu sect is mortal, as long as that person exists, anyone who breaks through the gate will die. Tisk, tisk, those people are so brave, they really dare to break in and die. Quote dot 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 quote. The survivors outside were breathing heavily, and it took them a long time to react. Looking at the three glowing holy medicine plants on Qingshu Mountain and the treasures everywhere, how can anyone dare to make any plans? What a shame, why didn't I join the Qingshu sect in my early years? Otherwise, I am now under the protection of the Supreme Being and enjoying the blessings of holy medicine. I don't need to worry about my cultivation falling. All of this is the method of the Supreme Being of Qingshu sect. He can actually block the suppression of the great Tao of heaven and earth. It is no exaggeration to say that this is the fairyland on earth. Many people are envious, jealous, and eager to enter the current Qingshu sect. In fact, someone even knelt down outside the gate of Qingshu Mountain that day, wanting to become a disciple. When the first person follows suit, a large number of people will kneel down and beg to become disciples of the Qingshu sect. 
But the ending is obvious, Qi Dao will not let anyone in. However, on that day, a famous family in the Central Territory arrived. Junior Zhang Yi, on behalf of the Zhang family, came to visit the seniors of the Qingxu sect. This is a small gift, please accept it, senior. As the young man came, he knelt down and bowed, holding an open wooden box in his hands. In the wooden box is a jade bead, exuding strong original power. Someone nearby recognized the origin of the jade bead and was immediately shocked beyond measure. This is the heaven and earth spirit pearl bred in the body of a 10,000-year-old clam. It only takes a thousand years for one to be conceived. It can make people realize the holy way and break through to the realm of holy destiny. Just give it away like this. The Zhang family is the only family among the four top powers in the central region. Its clan is large and powerful. It is said that before the end of the Dharma era, the patriarch of his family tried to break through to the holy order realm. Even if you fail, you will still stand out from the crowd. Now you come to visit me with such a generous gift. Looking at the wooden box in Zhang Yi's hand, the monks near him were extremely jealous. After all, it is a spiritual bead that can allow the leader of a religion to reach the realm of holy destiny, and the effect is powerful. Even if you look at places outside the world, they are definitely rare treasures. What shocked everyone even more was that when Zhang Yi came with such a treasure, the supreme being in Qingxu Mountain still didn't show any sign. This makes people wonder, is this looking down upon? After all, he is a supreme being who can destroy the star domain with a single thought. This kind of treasure may really seem shabby to him. But I have to say that the Zhang family really made a big deal this time. They even took out this kind of treasure just for a visit. Moreover, it was sent here by Zhang Yi, the youngest and most promising genius of the Zhang family. He is very sincere. Quote dot 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 quote. I don't know how many people are talking about this, and they are all extremely excited and waiting for a response. At this time, on Qingxu Mountain, Qi Dao did not have much emotional fluctuations. After all, such a spirit bead really has little effect on him. Even if it is put away, Qingxu and the others won't need it after they improve their strength. Therefore, he did not express anything. Zhang Yi at the bottom of the mountain was not in a hurry, he knelt down respectfully, held the wooden box and waited for a long time. A heaven and earth spirit bead, are you really not going to accept it? I think back then, I personally went to the Zhang family to borrow this heaven and earth spirit bead, but the old guy from the Zhang family regarded it as a treasure and refused to live or die. Now that old guy has the heart to send it over, it's really ridiculous to think about it. Ching Shu appeared and smiled. In this case, I'd better accept it. It can be regarded as fulfilling your wish for Elder Ching Shu. Qi Dao was moved after hearing this. No need. Ching Shu wanted to refuse, but found that Qi Dao had already taken action. At the foot of the mountain, Zhang Yi, who was waiting patiently, suddenly felt a majestic pressure coming on him. The next moment, a divine light enveloped him, and the box in his hand disappeared. Immediately afterwards, a grand message sounded. Whatever I take, I give. Tell me, what do you want? Qi Dao's voice shook the sky. The moment he heard the voice, Zhang Yi burst into tears. The Supreme Being finally responded to him. It was finally worth the time he spent kneeling here for half a day. Senior, you're welcome. This junior represents the Zhang family and is here just to make friends. He has no other intentions. Now that the senior has collected the treasure, the junior has completed the mission that my father completed. Zhang Yi said respectfully. However, Qi Dao has always adhered to the principle of equivalent exchange and was unwilling to end cause and effect in vain. Therefore, he pointed out and sent a small part of the new system of Taoism, which can delay the suppression of the Dharma ending age. You can take this method back with you. Remember to be true to your physical body when practicing. After you achieve some success, it can effectively slow down the decline of your realm. Qi Dao said slowly. His calm words sounded like thunder in the ears of everyone nearby, and countless people went crazy for it. Among them, Zhang Yi, who received the Taoist teachings, was extremely excited and knelt down three times and kowtowed nine times. Thank you, senior, for the gift. Zhang Yi was so excited, his mood fluctuated and his blood surged. Nowadays, what can be more precious than the Tao method that delays the decline of realm? After receiving the Dharma from Qi Dao, 
he immediately left with his people and wanted to go back and pass on the Dharma to his ancestors. I go. The Taoism passed down by a supreme being can effectively slow down the decline of realm. I'm so envious, why don't I have such a treasure? I really want this method too. Outside the mountain gate, after Zhang Yi left, countless people cried with envy. Whether it is receiving a gift from Qi Dao or being able to enter the Qingxu sect to practice, it has now become their dream. I'm so envious. A fly in the Qingxu sect has become a spirit and is practicing. Why am I not a fly in this life? Not only flies, but also the most common vegetable insects have become sperm. I will reincarnate now. Quote dot 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 quote. Outside the mountain gate, countless people were envious, jealous, and wished they were a worm in the Qingxu sect. After all, even a worm in Qingxu sect has become a spirit and can practice in it. Sometimes, reality is really painful. At the same time, Zhang Yi, who had obtained the new system of Taoism, rushed back to his family overnight. Clan chief, patriarch, we have a great event. Zhang Yi was so excited that his hands were shaking. After seeing his clan leader, he knelt down with a plop, crying and laughing at the same time. What's so exciting? Didn't I teach you to be more steady? Besides, weren't you asked to go to Qingxu sect to present a treasure to that senior today? How did it turn out? Zhang Tianchang, the head of the Zhang family, said as if iron was not enough, he calmly drank a cup of tea. No, patriarch, the task you asked me to complete has been completed. Not only that, my grandson has received a dharma from the supreme senior himself. That senior said, he said that giving magic can slow down the decline of the realm. Zhang Yi was almost dying, and he was hesitant to speak. What? Hearing what his grandson said, Zhang Tianchang spit out the tea he drank in one gulp. At this time, he was so excited that his hands were trembling, and his eyes were fixed on his grandson. Are you telling the truth? That senior really bestowed the Dharma. Zhang Tianchang asked again, absolutely true. My grandson will pass on the Taoism to you. By the way, that senior specifically told his grandson to be real in the flesh. Zhang Yi quickly passed on the new system of Taoism to his clan leader. At first, Zhang Tianchang tried to practice cultivation and found that it was a bit blocked. Until he tried to cultivate with his physical body, he was shocked to find that his cultivation had been slowed down to a certain extent. Ha 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 ha! That night, the entire Zhang family heard the clan leader's laughter. People from all over the family rushed over to ask what the big deal was. As expected of a supreme being of that level, there really is a method that can slow down the decline of one's realm. Quick, come, prepare another treasure immediately. I will go and visit in person tomorrow. Zhang Tianchang was so excited that he couldn't help himself. How could he look like an elder? This shocked all the sons under my command. Is there really such a way? But, patriarch, our Zhang family's treasure has been given away, and there is no more treasure. A servant came to report. You are stupid. Don't our Zhang family still have some background? Bring that thing here, I will personally deliver it to Qingxu sect tomorrow. Zhang Tianchang cursed. Upon hearing this, the expressions of his five sons changed immediately. Father, you can't. That's our Zhang family's heritage. What will we do if you give it to us? Ignorance, a group of things without vision. As long as we can climb to that supreme existence, even if we have no foundation, who hears that our relationship with Qingxu sect should not be reconsidered? Do you understand what vision is? Zhang Tianchang directly taught his five sons a lesson and insisted on going with the Zhang family's heritage. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.